all y'all that were tuned in over at uh, Ready Set Keto, welcome aboard. Thanks for hanging out with our buddies. We like having a little tailgating with them. It's pretty fun. Yeah. It's awesome live. Yeah. Let's see. I'm turning this so y'all can see what we'll be using. <laughs> yeah. So do your intro for everybody who's new here. I am not a classically trained chef. What I am is a self-taught home cook. I have studied under several television chefs. I have a PhD from YouTube University and a black belt in Buddhism. I love to cook. The only thing I Sounds love more than cooking is this woman right here. Shelly eats steak. Thank Aww. you all for tuning in. Thank you all for helping us uh, gauge the volume levels too. Okay, let me know if the volume is better now. I had to reset it here. Thank you, Sharon. Yeah, let us know the volume's good now. Da, da, da. Should I keep rambling so y'all can test the volume? <laughs> <laughs> well, we can say hi to a few people. Hi to a few people. I see Renee's here. She's humorous yeah. life tonight. Oh, man. I swear <laughs> she has too many. Yeah, it's just like <sighs> a... Uh, what do they call it? A, um, Carrie's here. Uh, what are looking for? I can't Sharon's here. 22 Q Cats here. Hey. 22 Q Cats said hi. Shelly Heath, Samson, Delilah, and oh. the whole crazy Friday night horde. Oh, Another Stuffler recipe. Yay. Well, Shelly is good. Heath is low. Okay, oh, still. So I got my microphone right here. Do I need to bring it up like this? Let me see. Do I have you, it turned on? He doesn't have it on, y'all. I hit the button. But you gotta look for the light. Okay, now. I saw the light. <laughs> now is it better? Is that more better? Do it like that. Is that good now? All right, I'll do it like that. <laughs> yes, no, maybe. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, uh, no, he, no sound. No, no sound. sound. Oh, stop it. Okay, it's on. That one's on. How about now? Now Heath is lit up with the mic. I'm lit up. Okay, but it might not. Let's see. Is it not sinking? Let me try something here. Da, da, da. Okay. You speak into that one. I'll speak into this one. This has got to be up right there, because last time we used Whoa. it, it's right where I put it. No, I thought last time you had it over here. Okay, we'll move it over there. Okay. Now let's see if that's better. This is so fascinating. Okay. Keep talking, Heath. We can't tell if you stop talking. All that's right. right. Got well, a little I'll just, better. I'll just read you the uh, phone book then, just so we can make sure we have something to talk about. We can hear both of you. Code it, cook it, enjoy it. This is what uh, Forking Goods telling me. I got these unseasoned pork rind crumbs when we use them tonight, and it says right here too that are gluten free. Hey, right, Gary says he can hear you. Coffee the, and keto with Karen. I oh, like nice. that. I'm all the about the coffee, bread Karen. Crumbs. Yeah, that's okay. Bluegrass girl said that's better. Thank you. Uh, cool kid Nicole said I can hear you over two French bulldogs <laughs> and a boxer snoring. <laughs> Gary said he can hear us all the way to Texas. Because you're in Texas, and we're in Texas. So if you're new here, welcome to our channel. What we normally do is we cook up something tonight live on the air. We eat it, tell you how wonderful it is so that you maybe want to go make it. Because if you saw the thumbnail, that was Jen. Jen Delaney actually made our pizza recipe. We did a deep dish pizza, what, about a two pizza. weeks? Two or three weeks yeah, ago? Roughly. And she's been making it, and... You're crushing it, girl. We it need so to make good. another standalone video for that because I really, really oh. enjoyed it. Yes, and y'all, so I love good. pizza. But uh, Samson and Delilah, that's our dogs right now. Twenty TQ cat, they're just sleeping on the couch. So hopefully they'll behave. They were real playful earlier, so hopefully I exhausted them playing with them with their toys and stuff. All right. Scott's here. Hey, hey Scott. Bro. He said popped over from. Ready, set, keto, nice. and he's a new sub. Awesome. Nice. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Welcome aboard. That's awesome. We roughly try and put out three videos a week at least, and then we do this every Friday. Yeah, and then if y'all are new yes. here, if you saw on our community tab, 
here we're wearing our aprons. <laughs> but I got this stuff in front of me. <laughs> and uh, Sharon Holloway, she's making them. She also makes our resident seamstress. Yeah, she makes uh, koozies for your drinks. Yes. See right there with one of our logos. And then also creamy. So if you have a creamy, she makes the little wraps that go around the pint. It's basically a and koozie for your creamy. She has a whole line just for the Hungry Heath channel. So if you want to order, so you could be like us too. Did you have the link in there in the notes? Yes, it's in the notes uh, down below. You can follow that and order an apron, a koozie, a creamy thing. Oh, she has and, shirts too, remember? Yeah, but I know she's got this all with our uh, logos and stuff. And uh, if you go over to the community tab, I posted several pictures, but you go to her website and anything. She's going to actually, if you purchase anything from her she's gonna donate some of the money to us to help our channel y'all get us better gear for all y'all yes that so that's so awesome and if you notice the lighting might seem brighter i on uh prime day i did buy some new lights to help with our filming and everything so matre on yet uh i don't know i haven't seen matre yet lisa's here hey, hey lisa, lisa. And Jen said, fancy meeting you all here. Uh-huh. And Stwong71 is here. Awesome. And I see Air Fry and Auntie is here. Aww. She said, okay, I'm here. My chili is on making poffles for my hot dog. Nice. Wow. And you're, like, cooking along with us, Shauna. That's going to be awesome. Uh, Jen said, happy Friday. I'm oh, so yay. excited it's Friday. How yes. about y'all? What a week, right? Yeah. Any plans for the weekend? Let us know what y'all are doing. I think you're going to be smoking some ribs tomorrow, aren't you? Maybe. That's what you told me the other day. Yeah. Betsy's here. Hey, Betsy. Welcome back. Cool Kid Keto said, I feel like the, the bell just went off and we had to switch class. <laughs> right? That's awesome. That's right. That's what it does feel like. Yeah. Bluegrass Girl said, Good evening, Horde. If you're not here on time, I'm going to put you in detention. Good evening. Yeah, and that cool kid keto, then you need to go on even earlier, right? That'd right. be like three in a row. Right. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, Jen said, hey, that's my pizza. That's right. It looks really good. Jordell Fields is here. Hey. hey, hey or is howdy. it Jodell? It's probably Jodell. Uh, said, hey, hey, I'm here. Welcome. Welcome to our channel. I think that's yeah, day everyone's day. here yeah. early tonight, 22Q Cat said. Yes. yes. Nan's awesome. here. Hey, hey Nan. Hey. And Ready Set Keto's here. Uh, hey, hey y'all. And then there's Carrie saying hi, everyone. And then there's the, about the sound. Da, da, da. Lori's here. Hey, Lori. Hey, welcome. Hey. Okay, let me just skip. And then uh, Jamie said, Howdy, Horde Mates, Horde Mistress, and Horde Master. Thank you. Thank you. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Oh, uh, thanks. Stacy said, Hope everyone remembered to hit the. Uh, like button yes, on the way out yes. for Ready Set Keto's Live. Yes, yes. definitely do that. Because you, you know what? If you didn't hit it, you can always open it back up and hit it again. Yeah, Emily's here. Hey, It'll Emily. Still chart it. uh, okay, there's everybody you. telling about them. So thank y'all. 22Q Cat said, I really like those aprons. So cute. Yes. yes, they're like the best aprons. I want to check something though. And they're just so thick and hardy. Like, I was wearing, you'll probably notice in some upcoming videos, because I know we have one coming out on Monday and Wednesday. Next week, you'll notice us wearing them. Oh, I see John's here. Hey, John, welcome to the live. I guess it must be in the tackle box, because I noticed there's a little spot right here in the front. Oh, yeah. There's a little, I think it's so you can stab your thermometer in it. Yeah. This one's too big, but then we have that other one that's the real small. Oh, so yeah, thin one, thin one. But I think it's in the uh, that, that tackle, tackle box. box. Purple that's Love and Nana's here. Packed. Hey. Um, let's see. Scott said, howdy, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. And let's see. Oh, I saw my fat Albert when I did that. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Anybody else remember that show, Fat Albert? What was it called? Was it called that? I think so. Okay. We'll ask the class. Let's see. Okay, this is where we're getting caught up. Where everybody said I can hear you. I can what? hear you. What? 
<laughs> we can hear you. Okay. Blow it on it like an old NES cartridge. I mean, that's right? the only way I know how to do things. If something's not working, like if it's something that's a USB and it's not working, I still do that. I blow into the USB. <laughs> I'm like, well, it always worked for NES, right? I remember that because the very first game I ever got from my uh, Nintendo, my NES, was Excite Bike, and I had to play it on a black and white TV, and that was really weird. Oh my but I gosh. had to put it in the thing just so. I had to, if I pushed it in too far, it wouldn't load. But if I just barely touched it and put it in, it was like perfect. It was weird how you had to ju do it just so. Wow. So for tonight's recipe, we're just gonna use our basic. Uh, batter. Now we we just do it real simple, y'all. I know James probably finds it a little too eggy, so you could just do more cheese. We just simply do eggs and pork panko or pork rind crumbs. This is from Porky Good. We're still using these. We got like a huge. They have a big box where you get like one of everything Porky Good sells, and so we got several of these pork rind crumbs. So you could do that. Or, I mean, we'll just buy the store-bought pork rinds and put it in our food processor and make our own. Yeah, because what I do first is I usually run my, uh, this, I'll get like a big block of cheese and I'll run it through the shredder. But then I always have little particle bits left that I can't fully clean out. So my favorite thing to do is run some pork rinds right behind it, mm -hmm. make crumbs. And when we save these empty containers, and I'll fill this up. So it'll have a little bit of cheese mixed into it, but that's great. And we just keep this in the fridge. Yeah. So that's one way of doing it. And um, for everyone who's new, the reason we don't, you'll see a lot of almond flour. We never use almond flour on this channel. <laughs> yeah. We um, used to. Well, yeah, but not not since we really started putting out videos. I don't right. think we have any. But anyhow, oh. I digress. It's because Heath has an, al an almond allergy. He's yes. allergic to the almonds. And sadly and, also peanuts. I and used to peanuts. I love peanut butter. So we never use almonds, but what I tell most people is if you're interested in a recipe, it's basically one-to-one. -one. Pork rind, so if a recipe calls for a cup of almond flour, a cup of pork rind has always worked for me. So I just use a simple replacement. Yeah, and it just and worked then, out every time. Yeah, and then the other thing you'll need is, uh, we're going to do this, the cornbread seasoning or uh, flavoring from OOO. So it's OOO flavorings. If you're new to hearing these, they basically it's OOO, so three O's flavors. And I finally figured out dot com. It stands for one on one. What what does it stand for? One on one flavors. Yeah, we finally um, figured it out. So we got these at KetoCon, right? And uh, they were giving away samples. So I'm all for free. You know, anybody tells me something for free. I'm gonna take it, and uh, and then that's the best way for me to judge if I'm ever going to actually buy something. Because I am more apt if a company gives me a sample, mm -hmm. then I'll be like, okay, maybe I'll buy it now. But if it's like something where there's no samples, like perfect example, that cracked, it's K-R-A-C-K -K apostrophe D, um, I don't know if Renee or Sean, I want to link to any of these. But anyways, Cracked makes keto chocolates. Oh, they're so good. But Keto Chow, Miriam, loves their product. They might be a little pricey because it's like $21 for a bag of, I, I don't know, seven little treats, right? So um, a lot of people are like, ooh, that's pricey. Me personally, ooh, that's pricey because I'm cheap. And... At KetoCon, they were giving away samples, so I'm going to try it because it's a sample, right? And I tried them, and I was like, okay, they're really as good as Miriam has, you know, gone on about and other people. Confirmed. Yeah, it's like, oh, my gosh, these are freaking delicious. So this week, um, and we'll do a review video on it, we couldn't get their Butterfinger because peanut butter um, and one of their other, like, star sellers because it had almonds – but they do make some chocolates that don't have almonds or peanuts. They have a pave, which is like a Swiss chocolate. Oh, Sweet. my gosh. And they also make truffles, y'all. And the truffles are all filled with different things. I mean, and it's good, clean keto products like chocolates. 
So think about like before this, before we were keto, you used to get chocolates. Who was it from? It was like a Tejas. No, no, no. Where you would have it delivered. Oh, uh, who was that? Oh, uh, it's uh, like sweet cherry. Yeah. No, who was that? Because you could order them like gift boxes. He would order like for my birthday or Christmas yeah. or Sherry's Berries. Sherry's Berries. He would order me chocolates from them. And Those aren't was, cheap, y'all. No. If you look at it. They're, they're, they're proud of it. They're proud of it. So when you think of the price of something like a sh Sherry's Berries compared to Cracked, Cracked is around the same price. And they're so all you're, handcrafted. Right. You're paying for the handcrafted. Now, yeah, Hershey's compared to Sherry's Berries. Well, yeah, of course there's a huge difference. But if, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, but if you're thinking of like a nice chocolate as a gift, I'd highly recommend Cracked because way their good. stuff is really good. Anyways, I have gotten way off topic. That's fine. So It's a food channel. We're talking about food. Right. So the Ooh 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 flavors, oh, oh. or Oh Oh Oh, this is cornbread. Uh, we also got one that's mashed potatoes, but they have a whole line of it. And so we're going to use that as our flavoring for the base batter. And then you'll also need hot dogs, which we have heating up. And we just got the Applegate hot dogs, y'all. They were on sale at our HEB. So we're trying those. And then also some chili. Now, we made our Texas chili because we're in Texas. and Chili con carne. Yes. And so uh, our Texas chili, probably a little spicy compared to most chilies. Um, and then some cheese. And that's all we're going to need for these stufflers tonight. Because what I was thinking, this would be uh, kind of like a mashup of like a corn dog mm -hmm. or a, uh, a chili cheese dog. But then I remember like even pre-keto, when you had a bowl of chili, you'd have cornbread with it as a side dish. Oh, yeah. So this would all tie in together, all three of those. So I've just got my happy eggs here. So I'm just going to start with my batter, which is, I think I'm going to start with three eggs mm -hmm. and just see. And y'all know how I eat my eggs every morning? Well, we, we, I love every time we leave the house, we have to go to Dutch Bros. One, we get her coffee, and me, I get a uh, iced tea. Well, I just save the cups, and that's what I put my uh, eggshells in every morning when I make my uh, breakfast. Yeah. So this will just be easy to just throw this away in a minute. So uh, Bluegrass Girl said, he, you just need to use your diaphragm. Oh, no, see, that's funny, because I used to be in uh, theater classes in high school, and that was my, uh, well, well, there was two teachers. One was just the theater, the drama teacher. The other one, who was my actual thing, my direct teacher, because I was in tech theater, technical theater. We actually built the sets. We made all the props or bought them all, and we worked. If anything was done in the auditorium, our class there's like five or six of us that were in charge of running the lights and sound. We ran the booth. We were not, nobody else was allowed up there. If the choir wanted something, if the school was just doing assembly, one of us had to go up there and work the lights and sound for them. Uh, Carrie said, Heath, if you use the air fryer, then you'll have to find out the temperature of the air when it's done. Right. Uh, Renee said, I just got my small cast iron pan for the pizza. Oh, nice. Nice. Reichwin's here. Hey, hey. Reichwin, welcome back. But I was so cool with that class, too. It was a close campus, right? Mm hmm But we all had little special cards he laminated and gave to us, so we had permission to leave campus to tell, we told the school, of the, uh, what is it, the, uh, not crossing guards. The administrators, No, basically. the, um, the, 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 um, the security guards. They always checked everybody coming and going off campus. Oh, uh, yeah. We actually had a pass. We could leave campus for, uh, so we wow. can go, because we were working on the show. So I just mix the eggs up. So you want to get them nice and mixed, right? And then it's basically a half cup of the pork panko. I just kind of put this in. I You want it to have like that batter consistency. So, you know, when you're thinking of like pancakes, that kind of batter, that thickness. But the whole reason I even started that story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was because I, my drama teacher, my, my tech, tech leader, Mr. Donahue, his favorite saying was anybody was on stage, you didn't, if you did it right, because he actually helped design the, the uh, auditorium, that if you're on stage, you did not actually need a microphone if you spoke from the diaphragm. 
That was his favorite saying. He, he always said, it was from the diaphragm. Yeah. That, and then uh, we always said, no food on the wood. Because he did not want food on his stage. Right? I don't blame him there. No food on the wood. Because kids are messy with food. Hey, I'm just mixing this together, and then I'll be adding the oh, oh, oh drops. Who said, I say ooh, ooh, ooh. I guess it's, what are so you? so ooh, ooh, good. I know, right? And we've gotten, I haven't gotten this brand before. There's another brand, I think it starts with an L, that also makes like flavor drops like these. And we've gotten the maple from them yeah. and really good when we make our homemade breakfast sausage. I just add some of that um, maple flavoring to that. So see that kid? Now, like that consistency, how that is. That looks good to me. One thing and we then, forgot to tell them huh? is I've already made the chili. I cooked oh, yeah. cooking it this morning. It's in the Instant Pot right there behind the, uh, right on the other side of the computer here. And I used, Renee talked us into buying a bunch of these uh, boneless beef chuck steak, um, boneless beef rib things. We smoked a set of them. They turned out okay. but So I'm doing 15 drops. Mm -hmm. But I cooked those in the instant pot, did my uh, my my homemade chili seasoning in it, and then a, a quarter cup of beef broth. Nice. Oh my gosh, y'all smell. It smells like cornbread. Oh my goodness. So it I does. did 15 drops Can of you... that um, mix into this, but. Are you still with this thing? <laughs> it smells. Yeah, it smells just like. Cornbread. Cornbread. How do they um, do that? I don't know. It's, do you want to slice up the hot dog and the cheese? We yeah. need that already. Okay. Because as soon as I pour this, we got to be ready oh, to oh, drop oh. everything. Okay. Well, here, why don't you start cutting up the uh, cheese real quick? Oh. And I'm okay. going to get off the... Uh, Lisa cheese. said that she made the meats a recipe also. Oh, oh nice, nice, Lisa. But like the rule says, pictures or it didn't happen. Yeah. Let's see some pictures. She said... I'm already planning on making a white one with Alfredo Ooh, sauce. Oh, that sounds good. That'll be great. So I've had the, uh, we already cooked the, uh, the hot dog. So I've had it heating up so it'd be ready for us. How did you cook the hot dogs? We smoked them, actually, when we made those ribs. Yeah. So last, uh. Last week. Last week when we made the ribs, we smoked the hot dogs. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. That's great. Just throw it in the floor, Heath. Yeah, we're we're a little wild here sometimes. So I'm just cutting this cheese up. You could definitely use shredded cheese. And however much cheese you want. I do find with the stufflers, they do better if you underfill them. Yes. Um, because last time, was it the first time we ever did it? Yeah, it shot across. Y'all so should look, see that live. Like that big. Yeah, that's good. Show them. I, know, it's one of, I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, they can see that. That's seeable. Because I have... Let's make sure this cheese is good, though. I have the whole hot dog. And I'm just mm -hmm. on the lid here to this container. I'm just cutting it up. Okay. Because we're going to end up making two of these yeah. stuffles. So I figured one hot dog per... Per stuffler. Mm-hmm. Per poffle. Poffle. Yeah. Um. Oops. Just cutting the cheese up here. Ha ha ha. Um. But if anybody follows me on TikTok, I think on TikTok it's just Shelly eats steak. This is enough, right? I think so. But anyways, this, this is um, for both of them. Yeah. But anyways, I posted, with, and I posted it on here as a short, but basically I made the breakfast stuffler, y'all. Oh, it was really good, too. It really did that sound like, what do they call really it? really uh, good. Not a, not a, uh, what's it? Like a McRiddle. Yeah, almost. McRiddle. I want to say McRib, but that's not right. That's not breakfast. No. But yeah, it ended up almost like a McRiddle, if y'all ever had one of those. It was just really good with the sausage, and then I put the... Syrup from um, Sucrin. Uh -huh. Sucrin Gold. Yes. Um, what are we this is uh, Colby, Colby Jack. Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Purple Love of Nano said, got you on the big screen to watch and type it on the computer. Awesome. Awesome. That's what we watched too. 
Hey, Paul's here. Hey, Defense Wiz said, hey, what's up, kids? Kids. Um, Carrie said he went to work today. Today was the first day to go in and clean part of the church, and then Sunday morning we'll get the rest. You should oh, wow. have seen the monster cobwebs. That's awesome. Good on you. Yeah, way to go. That's got to be a lot. Okay, I'm just going to kind of move this here. Yeah. Um, Jodell said, again. I subscribe. You guys are cool. Oh, thank, thank you. you. The more the merrier. That's awesome. Tell your friends. Carrie said, cool aprons. Thank I love you. them. I do, too. Shauna right. said, oh, my God, you guys, I made spicy chili. How did you make it spicy, Shauna? Wow. Uh, and then Carrie said, Heath and Shelly's eggs are so happy. They're crack a lack uh, I'm saying. Nice. Sharon said, the lightning is very nice. The lighting is very nice tonight. Oh, oh, thank you. So this is the Presto Stuffler. So what I do, I'm going to get, and you'll see as this sits, the pork rind, um, it, it thickens up. And y'all saw last week we served everything on the butcher paper. Well, I'll just use it as a drop cloth tonight. Yeah. I just figured why not. Okay. And oh, I'm just oh. even this out. When you get out, out the uh, chili too, right? Yeah. You're going to have to pour some. Okay. So here, I'll put a few sprinkles of the cheese down. And then you want me to do the hot dog first or do you want the chili first? Either way, it doesn't matter. Okay, now I'm going to do work. some of the hot dog, and I'm just splashing it, circling it all over here. Just trying to make it look even. Woo. Uh, Woo. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. I'm just going to unplug this. Okay. It's hot enough. Yeah. Okay, and then Do you the need chili. a glove, or is it cool enough? Do you want it? It's good enough for me. Okay. Okay, and then this chili. I think we're good with the look, cheese. We're going to have chili for like a couple of days. days now. Okay. Well, that's, well, that's what I was telling you. After we cut up all the uh, hot dog, we just put it in that container. Oh, that's um, true. Multi, Multi-purpose it. Okay. And let's do this. Okay. And then, so we kind of see it a little bit here. Now I'm going to add more cheese to this. Because we do like our cheese, right? Yeah. And I have to tell you, the stuffler that we made a couple weeks ago at uh, KetoCon with the stuffed crust, I thought that turned out pretty good. Yes. I just kind of put as much cheese close to the edge. edge, and it ended up being more like a... Uh, stuffed crust. Stuffed crust. Hey, and I'm just adding some more of the batter... To the top, filling in the little crevices. Yeah, that worked out perfect. So that was three eggs and about a half a cup of the pork panko. So we'll make a second batter here in a few minutes. So I'm just pouring, kind of sliding this because it is a thick batter. So I'm just trying to spread it so it gets evenly coated around the top. Okay. All right, that looks good. Ooh, yep, Ooh. I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, and how the stuffler works is you uh, pull it and then you toss, you know, flip it. And then let me set my timer for eight minutes. I find with the stuffler, you need to kind of go longer. Just to make sure. Well, it just seems like when you go um, like the seven minutes, because they say like seven to eight, it, it just seems like it needs to go a little bit longer to get crispy with this. And then remember, I'll have uh, some chili on mine too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm putting in here though. Okay, awesome. I mean, less stuff to mess with. And then you could show up. That chili's dark. Right. All right. But thank you. I'm glad the lighting. Oh, Ready Set Keto said the lighting looks really good. Nice. That's awesome. Well, we actually have two big lights, but I'm not sure where to put the second one yet. I 
over there in the corner behind us. Move it where yeah. that chair is at. We'll just put it right there in the corner. It'll be out of the way and everything. Yeah, but it would be on camera then. That's fine. Hmm. We'll see. We're on see camera, we so it's with. okay. Uh, Paul said, but did you, Shauna? Oh, I mean, was it spicy or was it Shauna spicy? Right. Paul, giving her a hard time. That's not nice. Hold on. <laughs> hey, Matreus here, Radical Geek. So that's what the chili looks like. Is that a good? I don't want to. I need to tilt it so you don't see it, but I don't want to uh, pour it. And that's so. just with the. Oh, that looks real good now. The beef ribs. Yeah. Boneless the boneless beef. beef ribs. Yeah. That looks good to me. You know, use whatever meat is cheap. That's the good thing about chili. My original recipe I put on the uh, channel is that I just use uh, ground beef. Yeah. But this this needed to be cooked, so why not? Right. Mm. The reason why I was looking for Matreya, because uh, when we come to KetoCon, we're going to bring the lights with us. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, that will be perfect. It was really nice set, y'all, and it was like 33% off on Prime Day. What I like about it is they're like massive, right? Yeah. They're huge, but they they condense down to where you're holding it. And like, um, you know, um, anybody have those chairs that flip open yeah what are they called the lawn chairs what i call them well yeah but you know the ones the that are ones that are fo that fold up like yeah. i think i thought they called them like umbrella chairs or something possibly but anyways the ones that fold up real small yeah. well that's how these basically work and so the size bag that we carry is like the same size as one of those chairs you'll disturb the dogs i think not if i do it right okay uh, but Matreya's here, and Matreya, everybody, if you're new here, she's got a great channel. Every Sunday, she goes live, and she does Coffee Talk, uh, where she shows uh, a new and interesting way to make coffee, and then usually some oh, kind well, of keto see. side. Am I? Yeah. Okay. So that's, yeah, see, that's the bag to carry both of the lights. Yeah. Two lights that's fit in that. That's pretty neat. Yeah. So uh, maybe Shauna or um, Renee can link to Matreya's channel for Coffee Talk. Yeah, that's always fun to do on Sundays. Um, yeah, because I get off at five o'clock on Sundays, and like as soon as I get off, I run use the bathroom and get settled in so I can watch Coffee Talk at five thirty. Shauna said, "A little hotter than Shauna hot." Oh no. no. Hey, Mark is here. Hi, well, Mark. It, Said hi. Sounds good. Welcome. Shauna, if it's chilly you made and it's too hot, an old Indian trick you can do to calm it down is add some ketchup to it. And when you plate it up, add a little bit of ketchup. If it's still too hot, add a little more ketchup. That's true. Or yeah. a little vinegar works too. But yeah, ketchup, especially for <laughs> chili. <laughs> And um, Matreya said, I think Sunday I'm going to make a cheddar jalapeno popper stuffed waffle. Ooh, nice. that sounds good. That's really good. Oh, thank you. Uh, Jodell said, I said her name right. Awesome. Sharon said, my weekend will be moving rocks and landscape blocks until it's too hot. Oh, wow. Girl, I've been watching on Facebook everything you're doing. That is an undertaking. But it's huh. going to look so awesome. I thought we had a bag of pork rinds right there on the shelf beside you. Oh, I put them up. Oh. Every time I want something, she moves it, and now I'm, I can't find it. And I'm now I can't worst. eat my chili with it. Oh, I'm just the worst. Leave stuff alone. <laughs> this house would look like a mess. But I would know Imagine. where it's at. Would you? Yes. No. No. I know you. There's a you. method to the madness. I know you. So After, do I. After nearly a decade, you would still say, I can't find such and such. It's always because you moved it. Mm -mm. It's like we're playing a, hide, a weird uh, hide, game of hide and seek. Mm -hmm. uh, Nicole said, if I did a live, it would definitely have to be earlier because I have to work at 4 tomorrow morning. Oh, oh my gosh. That's not fun. Ugh, that's so early. I am working you set tomorrow. You this, right? Yeah, okay. on my phone. I am working tomorrow. Uh, they're offering overtime at my job. So I was like, um, well, I'm going to work it then. But I'm not going to get up at 4 in the morning. But That's crazy I'll talk. get up early. Carrie said he hit the light button 13 million trillion gazillion times. Awesome, Carrie. Thank you, sir. Strong71 said, now we have to hit the light button for this live. Yes. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> Be careful, though, because if you hit it too many times, it actually undoes it. 
<laughs> right? Uh, Blue Dove said C is going to stay with a friend for 11 sleeps. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm going to be busy, but missing my keto. Wow, you are. That's something. Thank you there, uh, Renee. Put the link to Sharon's page. Awesome. Ready, set, keto said, I think it was called Fat Albert. Okay. And that, oh, the Paul said Fat Albert and the Cosby kids. Oh, and Mary said Fat Albert. Okay. It's got some fat. We've got a debate going, Fat Albert, the Cosby Kids, or Fat Albert? <laughs> Serena's here. Hey, Serena. Serena's Keto Board Life, and she's got a channel, too. Mm. Awesome. Well, welcome again. So good. Uh, Ready, Set Keto says, Heath, going to need five more, five, going to need, if I can read, going to need more Five Spice by Keto Palooza. <laughs> All right, I'm on it. Yeah, we're making up a bunch. We got actually a couple orders to ship out on Monday, so we're excited about that. Oh, Mary said the Atari 2600. Uh -huh. I remember that. I do, too. I, I think the first game we played on there was a uh, Indiana, Jan uh, Indiana Jones game. Oh, really? Wow. Was like Raiders of the Lost Ark, I think it was. Cool Kid Kido says she still has an NES. I wish I did. Oh, thank you. Sheena said, awesome recipe tonight. I think, our, uh, I, think I do have an NES on the old. Oh, outside? What was the, the, what was the second hey, gen Susan's one? We had the here. top load games. And I didn't like the controller for them. Oh. It was the second gen, the second NES they came out with. I, I, I was not a fan of that one. Mary said, I don't care for almond flour, though. I actually love almonds. I feel the same way. Like, you give me just some roasted almonds, those taste great to me, but the almond flour doesn't sit well. I think it's just the quantity. You know, think how many nuts you had to be ground up to make a cup of almond flour. Right. Well, there were some of the restaurants, like when you order a dish, they'll put shaved almonds in it and stuff. And I, even, even before I knew it was allergic, I didn't like it. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. Like, they do that a lot with green beans, I think. Yeah, that's Oh, we got three seconds. Uh, Sharon said, my amazing husband just delivered peaches and cream creamy to me. Oh, nice. That's awesome. You got him trained. That's an awesome husband. Hey, Marie's here. Hey, hey Marie. Welcome. Flip it. Okay, you want to open it? Oh. oh, I thought we needed to flip it. No. Well, you can flip it back. Then you're going to have to lift it up Ooh. to flip it. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. No way you have access to it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, we need a plate. Oh, I guess we do, don't we? Wow, look, y'all. That's looking good, though. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's a nice, crispy outside. Oh, yeah, another great gift from our number one groupie. Well, just hand me one plate, please. Oh. Well, let's yeah. see. Spatula? Don't burn yourself. Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah, show that, and then I need to make another one for myself. Ooh, that's yeah. hot. It's hot, y'all. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? <sighs> Sorry, I know I'm not getting this in there just there, so. that's good. That's amazing, though. I love how tall it is. Where's your uh, egg? Eggshell holder. Oh, duh. Here. All right. And then uh, just when you're done, I'll just I'm gonna throw that away. Oops. Can I get a napkin, please? Thank you. Awesome. Put the towel down on top and shove it down. Oh, okay. Well, here you get rid of all that. Are we done with the eggs? Yes, there's nothing left in there. Oh, okay. I thought, oh yeah, that's right, I already saved it. We made sure we saved one egg for her uh, coffee in the morning. That's right, gotta have egg in my coffee. Coffee and keto uh, with Karen said, I'm a huge fan of free, laugh out loud. I am saying, that's it's- That's to say, pre-keto, my favorite beer was always free and free light. Yes, like when somebody tells me something's free, I'm like, oh, I'm all there. And nowadays, um, you know, a lot of the free stuff you can't even, you don't even want to have. Like, well, now I, you're like, oh, now I know why it's free. But I still grab some of it, and then I just put it in the donation bin. Yeah. 
Or we thought about actually, uh, we saw I saw something on Facebook yesterday. I think it was yesterday, wasn't it? Or they were doing one dollar uh, chili chili oh, dogs yeah. and Sonic. We're like, well, let's just have that for dinner. But then I was like, wait a minute. I already have all this other food. I don't need to go oh, spend money. Need to pull fries. Right? Okay. Uh, Bluegrass Girl said, random thought. Rose Acre Farms is close to Louisville. They sell bulk egg white powder. I wonder if Autumn could have them sell egg white powder one day at KPL. Oh, that would be a good idea. Reach out to Autumn and tell her. Yeah. That would be really nice. Man, or if this. they could even, like, even donate some, like, yeah. as a sample. Okay. Now I'm just mixing this up for the next one. And that's what it looks like after I cut it in half. Oh, wow. That looks good. It really does. It's not quite focused in yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you kind of cover my face up a little more. There you go, right there. Oh, wow. That looks good. You see the chili? I see the cheese in there and a little bit of the hot dog. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Uh-uh. Put any onions in it. Do you want oh, any? Nah. All we have are the red onions. Okay. So I'm fine without it. Uh, Twenty-two Q Cat said, my pork rinds never get a chance to get stale. I've been substituting my almond flour with them in almost everything. Learned that right here. So thanks, Shelly. Oh, wow. It's an amazing substitution. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Put that on the shelf over there so we don't lose it and knock it off. Over but there. look, you could barely tell I've used any That's of awesome. this. Yeah. If we put, put it, it up there, we're less likely to lose it. You're right, with everything else that's here. Right. Um, Mary said, yep, ready, it's weird. Um, okay, that's fine, Shauna. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, Shauna said, chili simmering. Uh, Texas Poffles cooking hot dog going in the air fryer. Awesome. Oh, thank you. Renee shared the crack stuff. And I'm going to reach out to crack and see if they can give us a discount code. I do know that Two Crazies has a discount code because uh, I used it. <laughs> but, like, see, I wouldn't have even... But if you um, know it, yeah, it's I wouldn't it. have even purchased it because I, before I was like, well, it's got almonds and... You know, oh, that's too expensive, and da 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 da. But then, when we were there and chatted with the owner and everybody that's part of his team, I was like really impressed with them. Honestly, I was really impressed with everybody we spoke to at uh, Keto Con. Well, yeah. most everybody. There was one one booth. Yeah, well, we just don't mention them. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it. I was really impressed with the crack team and it to learn, you know, that. You know, it's, it's a handmade item, right? Okay, so here we go again. I'm going to be brave. Oh, you're going to be brave? I'm going to pick it up and eat it with my hands. Oh, my gosh. I, I can. Can you hand me the chili, please? Or just a spoonful of the chili? Well, I don't want to drop it. We'll move the batter. Just put it right here. Oh, okay. All right, let's see. Uh-huh. All right. Put some more of the chili. So that was one hot dog per stuffler. Yes. One hot dog per stuffler and probably like a fourth a cup of this chili. Oops. Okay. There you go. You're going to do another one or just it? This should be okay, it. Okay. I'm just making sure I can get it out of the way. And then I'm just going to put some more cheese on this. I'm just going to put a lid on it just to make sure. Yeah. You can always pull it back out later if we want. Oh, yeah. All right. And more of the stuffler batter. Oops. Ooh. Sorry, y'all. Now, these are our bougie containers we got for free when we were in the hotel. <laughs> yeah. But it's like the perfect size for my little uh, lunch pail heater thing. Yeah. This one got a little little full there. Oh, well. Life happens. 
All right. Mm. You gotta throw the rest of that cheese in there. Uh, I feel like it's already full enough. Mm. All right. Do that. And then flip it again. All right, and let's see. Start the timer. All right. Uh, Renee said I ate one of the epic beef jalapeno bars on my way home. I just couldn't finish it. Oh, oh wow. I wanted, I wanted to, but the texture of the salt was just off. Huh. Oh. I had one of those earlier, too, but I had it with a piece of string cheese. I do find that the epic meat bars, um, so at KetoCon, we got a whole bunch of uh, epic meat bars and meat products for free. They were just giving out a free, like a whole bar, meat stick, whatever, for free, right, as a sample. And I, yeah, their they're bars are different. Okay. The Simply Snacking Bars taste like meat to me, right? right? The ones by Epic, they're just, um, they're a little, a mm, little good. too mush, if that makes sense. Oh, that looks great, Shauna. The, they're just a little too mushy, is my, my opinion of that, the Epic ones. Gary says he likes spicy chili. Awesome. And Blue Dove said, oh, yeah, I've heard uh, advertising for Sherry's Berries on the radio. Looking forward to your crack review. Thank you. So here's this. Obviously, he he just dove right in. I'm holding on a gonna... Mmm. So it is an eggy consistency, just so you know, James. But, um... Do you get the cornbread? I get a hint of cornbread, <laughs> no, but it probably smells needs like more. It, but it doesn't taste like it. Mm -hmm. We need to put a little more. Yeah, but it's a fine line because mm -hmm. you do. If you do too much of the flavorings, then it's it's ruins it. But yeah, maybe a few more. Like maybe do twenty drops next time, because it's not real. Heavy, like you smell the cornbread, right? So you could just go by your nose, you'll be like, oh, it's cornbread, but the taste is still. It's not gritty like cornbread. Well, true. Well, no, it's not going to be. Yeah. Well, what, you did 15 drops? Yeah. Or maybe 20, 22. Yeah. But the the taste overall, I mean, it's good. Mm -hmm. um, I'd make it You again. know, what we might have done differently, though? Is maybe because like we're from the south, right? We always made su um, sweet sweet cornbread, so maybe put a little bit of allulose or sweetener in with the chopple mix as well. And that might make it seem more of a cornbread flavor. Or we used to also when we make cornbread, we put sliced jalapenos in it. Mm -hmm. That'd be good too. Mm hmm. Mm. I don't know, Mary said eggshells are good for tomato plants. I did not know that. Not um, but the filling is really good, yeah, right? Yeah. You definitely get the chili. I like everyone's um, more, you get a bite of the uh, hot dog. Yeah, you get the hot dog, and then the cheese is, uh -huh. um, it's Perfect. pretty much melted in there. Mm -hmm. But um, it's kind of good if, I would say even like the chili, if it's too spicy, like mm -hmm. the, the waffle kind of makes it a little more subtle, right? Yeah. Mmm. That's good. They're very good. We got another winner. <laughs> we didn't make these more often. Ooh, it's almost raising up. Uh -huh. 22 Sweet Cat said, but I was afraid to order those OOO flavors because some of the negative reviews. I'm glad to get your honest opinion on them tonight. Oh, thanks. Ooh, I didn't know that. I've never, I've heard of them. Like other people who have used them, but I've never tried them myself. But it's the flavor. I mean, it's not a strong flavor of cornbread. It's really not. So probably need more. But it smells really good. But I don't find that it gives any type of 
<clears throat> we also didn't charge them before we went on. Mine turned off too. Because mm -hmm. I left mine alone. I didn't try to put it up. Well, you're not have you. I thought you didn't have to charge them. All right, let's see. Hopefully that gets better. Heard he. Okay. Well, hopefully this is better. We'll see. Um, this is really good. Let's see. Cool Kid Keto said, just remind, reminded me I need to make my hard-boiled eggs for my lunches this week. That's right. Uh-oh. Uh All I hear is heat hacking. I'm sorry. You do because they're not mad, they don't run on magic. I thought everything ran on magic. God, all right, let's see. But yeah, mine's not speeding up. Oh, Joe Ray's here. Yeah, hey, what's happening? I see Joe Ray said, Good evening. Here, you're gonna have to get closer to me so I can put this one on and I'll just protect the wall. Ah, Joe Ray said, Good evening. This is my list to make, I grabbed a couple of the OOO flavors at KetoCon. I should have grabbed more. Yeah. Right? Well, that's what we're saying. We're just talking about on the way home. I think next year we're going to stay uh, an extra day so we can get more swag. Yeah, right. And we had to leave early because we had to check out at the Airbnb. You know, pick up the dogs and everything. <laughs> but if we stayed one more night, we could have stayed and shut, you know, closed it down. Uh-huh. Okay, let's see if this is... You love it, but did you order any? <laughs> is that going to be long enough? But... Uh-huh. I really don't have another... What do you need? A USB stick? Yeah. I have more in the bedroom. Oh. Do you want to be able to get one? Because that one, I yeah. think, is, is that you have to have just that plug. Okay, okay I'll, I'll be back. Okay. Oh, well, leave me some money. Duh. All right, you guys. So I'm sorry. Whew. Yeah. All right. Now that we're alone. Uh, cool Kid Keto said the Friday night feast is kind of like home ec class, <laughs> right? Because it's like a, you never know what disaster is going to happen. Uh, I know. Okay. That's for that one. But I think. I'm going to leave it there for a second. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, Susan said, adults are messy with food. People are just rude. That's true. Probably both accounts. People can be rude, all right? Uh, Reichman said, yep, granddaddy long legs love to come indoors this time of year. I usually have to watch garden spiders when I'm pruning bushes. Oh, right? That's true. Jen says, Shelly measures her ingredients like I do, by sight with your heart. <laughs> that's right. Let your elders speak to you. Yeah, that's what Heath says. He always uses it till his elders speak to him. Okay. Oh, goodness. That is the right one. Okay. Uh, what is this cord hooked up to? The, the software. And where's that at? Oh, it's over there. Yeah, Can you bring it like here? And... Are you done with it? Yeah, we're done with the stuffler. Okay, yeah. And then I can... See, we're still learning how to do these things. All right. All right, let's see. Okay, give us just a second, y'all. 
guess I should have charged these first. Thur- next Thursday night you're putting on the charger. Right? I thought they were already charged. Oh. There we go. And then where did where did you say to put this? In your pocket. Oh, okay. There we go. Yay. Yeah. Well, sort of. All right. Ooh, now that's pulling on it. Yeah, that's what we're waiting for about pocket. Or maybe tuck it in up here. Or maybe I just right do this. Want it to turn the fat or knock it off? Probably. Probably. Okay. But you said this thing's done? Yes. So bring it forward and then flip it. Ooh, watch out for the drink. All right. Ooh, there we go. So see, this one was a little bigger, but look, that's looking good. Okay. You need a spatula or a fork? <laughs> that probably is spatula or two forks. Oh, well, here I might get it. Yes, I do. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, this one was even cheesier. Yeah. That's good. All right, and let's see. Morning, morning, karaoke. Okay. Here, wait a second. I was skipping ahead, but I'll get it. Okay. So, oh, where was I at? Oh, Jamie says, oh my, just stuck my nose in my bones. Salty siren smells gorgeous. Oh, that's the one that I've been fortunate enough to be having all Fuck. week. Um, heat uh, ground up the uh, salty for me this week, and oh my gosh, the coffee's just been so good, so tasty. Uh, Renee said, I bought some of those beef boneless Texas style ribs to make this weekend. Love the Korean style I made last time, that's awesome. Maybe that's what we should have did instead. So I just did a regular uh, beef rub on them and then based our uh, spritz them with uh, beef broth. Oh, yeah, last I weekend. Them. They tasted good, but they weren't as tender as I wanted them to be. Here, let me try to, so that can be closer. You'll have to remember to do that when you're talking. What do I do when I'm talking? Put it close to your mouth. Okay, is this better? Oh, my gosh, don't, don't scare them away. Um, Paul said, just drop that anywhere, Heath. <sighs> Nicole said, I need to find some super thin sliced ribeye, like wafer thin. That's Kroger. Kroger, mm -hmm. well, I don't know if it's necessarily ribeye. Um, shaved beef is what they call it. Yeah, it's shaved beef, but well, that's the, as thin uh, as you're going to get. Did the Heb do that for you too, though? Yeah, could they? Uh, Sharon said, okay, just figured how to pop out the chat and have the video on full screen. Yes. Nice. That's the way oh. I do it when we're watching it. you got to put it by your mouth. They can't hear you. I can't do anything else and hold this, though. I'm sorry. No, you just have to talk into the mic. That's what I was doing, I thought. I'm sorry. No, you had it down here. Here's your mouth is up there. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, Miriam's here. She goes, hey, lovely friends. Awesome. And let's see here. Oh, Joe Ray says, anybody going to the Keto Orlando Summit? I wish. I know. I wish we could. We won't be able to. The next one we're going to is um, Keto Palooza. Keto Palooza. I was seeing. What the? What are those dogs doing? Just acting a fool. <laughs> Everybody's saying hi to Miriam, and then it jumps on me. Okay, Lisa said I made y'all's pork and poultry seasoning oh, nice. last night. Nice. Oh, that's great. I'll see if I can get a good pick later. Yeah. What do you think of it? Uh, Joe Ray said, I'm freaking out over here. I can't find that packet of Five Spice I got from you guys at KetoCon. Oh, no. 
Oh no, Joe Ray! Do you have any still left over from Kittle Palooza last year? Here, I'll hold it like this so you can put it closer to your mouth. Uh, well, um. It might help, we wouldn't all tank it up. Wow, why would we want to do that? Um, Keto Palooza, I'm just going to give you all a heads up. When we get closer, I was thinking we're going to make up, um, basically, if anybody wants a spice, we'll bring it to Keto Palooza. So we'll bring, um, you'll just like put in a pre order for pork and poultry, Texas Five Spice. Beef rub, the beef taco. rub, or the taco seasoning. Right. Any of those, any, all, however many, whatever you want. We're going to make up four ounce uh, jars, the plastic bottles that we'll put all those in and we'll post it like a few weeks before Keto Palooza. So if you're interested in any of our spices, because then it's okay because we'll be delivering them by hand right. so we can sell them. But that's awesome. You made your own. Oh, and hopefully Joe Ray will find the Texas Five Spice. Uh, ready, set, keto said, sing it. Pour some chili on me. Uh -huh. <laughs> right? That's that, so good. That's a different channel. <laughs> Bluegrass Girl said, I've been putting shredded cheese on the bottom and top of all stufflers. Nice. They are... Uh, so they are crazy crunchy. Nice. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, that'll definitely make it mm. crunchier and, and probably not as eggy, too. You know what I was thinking, though? Uh-uh. Uh, I guess we didn't need to do it. I was thinking we're going to need to spray uh, avocado spray on it first. Oh, yeah, I've never needed to do that because there's enough fat oh, in, the, um, in, one, uh, in the pork panko. Uh, that's perfect. There's one less thing we need to mess with. Yeah. Right? Uh, Nicole said, I've been making meat chips every day. Oh, oh that's good. That sounds good. Uh, we still have, you know, we have the carnivore snacks that we haven't even eat, touched. We're going to have some of the night. <laughs> we good to dip in the chili. Uh, Joe Ray said, I think Joe's recipe says g to go 11 minutes. Oh, really on the stuffler. Okay. Oh. That's good to know. Uh, Renee said, I'm over sprinkler with my... Angry Texas Five Spice. <laughs> yeah, she That's goes through awesome. it really quick because she loves it so much. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Thank you. Bluegrass Girl says she goes 11 minutes too. Okay. Well, these turned out pretty good at eight. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we'll try 11 and get it even crispier. But mm. yeah, I, I guess it could be crispier. Sharon said, I've been also putting shredded Asiago and Parmesan oh. in our stuffer first and last to make a nice crust. We get throw in the air fryer awesome. real quick. Yeah, it's good. I really like it is because now it tastes more like bread. It's like kind of that spongy like you do with like a regular mm -hmm. old, old school white bread. Mm -hmm. It feels like that, like the texture and everything. Yeah. Great. Sharon said, I've also, oh, I read that one. Um... Renee said, a shot of skill is an official measure. It sure is. Uh, Joe Ray said, thanks for the close-up. You're welcome. Matreya said, that chili looks fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Boilerman's here. So how about possum? I don't, have you ever had I've possum? I've never had it, but I'm not, excuse me, excuse me. I've never eaten possum, but I'm not opposed to it. I've never had it either. I was I, raised by the Cajuns, and their rule was if it's brown, it's down. If it flies, it dies. They we, they even ate Nutria. Mm -hmm. um, well, I remember one time we went to the Texas Renaissance. Mm -hmm. One lady we got to talking with there, she said, yeah, they'll eat, if they're driving along and they see a, a possum or squirrel or any roadkill, they'll get it and she'll bring it home and cook it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just not that poor. I'm not that well, poor. Uh, well, I don't know so much about that. I uh, I have a hard always, time with wild boar, y'all. The thing is, if, I've always had the, I was always taught if it didn't wasn't cleaned right, it could spoil the meat. So I don't mm -hmm. know how actually, you know, if it's roadkill, how it actually got killed. Mm. Right, because don't they say when you're shooting deer mm -hmm. or anything, you have to shoot them just right or else right. you'll ruin the meat? Yeah. 
Yeah, so how do you do that exactly. when it's roadkill? You just take the chances on it. I don't know. I guess like, uh, if, it, if, if any of y'all know the ins and outs of how to prep roadkill. Let I mean, it's know. like when my, when my dad used to be a manager at a grocery store. He said there was uh -huh. an old man to come in there and buy all their tent dented and uh, unlabeled cans. Because they sold it to him in a bulk case. And if, it, if he opened it up in his dog food, he goes, all right, give it to the dog. If it's for people's consumption, then I'll just eat it then. Because wow. they got everything so cheap. Wow. I just, I'm not that brave. Mm-mm. I'm too picky. Right. I just really like how these turned out. Mm-hmm. They're really good. Matreya said, oh, awesome. Do you think I should still bring a couple of my lights? Well, I don't know. Because that'll give us, how many do you have? We have two. So I was planning on bringing them. Mm-hmm. As I purposely got these so that they would be travelable. Travelable? Is that work? They're travel, travel ready. Travel ready, yeah. And then I was also wondering about the microphones because we only have two. How are we going to do that that night? With Cher. <laughs> right? Mmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Carrie says he's got 175 days with no coffee or caffeine. Way to go. Toolkit Keto said I've seasoned them with Redmond's and with hardcore carnivore. Oh, nice. Gigi's here. Hey, Gigi. Hey, hey, Welcome hey. back. So good evening, everyone. And Matreya shared. I'm uh, Matreya. Renee shared Matreya's channel, Radical Geek. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um. Oh, I want to try the chicken skins, right? Okay. Super Nintendo Blue Dove. Oh, that's I what it was a Super Nintendo. Yeah. Um, Renee said, I really did like carnivore crisp chicken skids, but I've also found them made in our Asian grocery market. Nice. Oh, nice. Joe Ray said, my dad loves spicy. My mom showed him the packet of five spice. My dad put a pinch in his mouth to try. He was coughing up a storm. Nice. He loved it though. <laughs> oh goodness. I'm sorry. So happy to get a package to you for mom and dad. Uh, right? Your mom is so awesome. And put uh, Joe Ray's channel to Renee. Um, Carrie said, Heath, Dr. Barry was saying, if you collect the eggshells, then you can clean and bake them and grind them, and then you can use them for more minerals. Ooh, that's a lot of work for some eggshells. I believe him. Um, I'm you sure didn't. there's a lot of uses. Uh -huh. I mean, I've tried giving them to my dogs, and they just they are like, no. Even Sam, who eats anything. This week, y'all. Uh -huh. I've been experimenting with the dogs where, like, as we had asparagus, we had mushrooms, there was some Brussels sprouts, broccoli, uh, tomatoes, strawberries, blueberries, all these different, you know, fruits and vegetables. So I was doing, I've seen TikToks where they give, you know, to the dogs. I figured out Sam, that's our newest one, he will eat anything because he doesn't, like, eat it he doesn't taste it he just like swallows everything instantly right but delilah she's all like mm, i don't know or she'll take it and then she'll spit it out and then she smells it and then she plays with it and then she finally eats it right. or they also wanted a lime i was like you all do not want this lime well sam was all for like he's just like yeah i'll take it yeah yeah and he's trying to like eat this lime Delilah, she smelled it and she immediately like wrinkled her nose like she was like, oh, what is that? <laughs> she was That's like, awesome. and then she'd see him and be like, w really? It's it's good? And then she'd lick it and then she'd be like, like shaking her head. She's like, oh, no, that's awful. Like, whoa. <laughs> it would have been better for you got it on film. Yes, I know. I know. I should have. We can do it again. Uh, Ready Set Keto said, we'll definitely be trying the dehydrated lunch meat. I feel like carnivore grisp are too expensive, oh, right? That's an idea. Yeah, you just like put them in, um, in the oven or a dehydrator. Uh, Matreya said, was there a blip or is it on my end? Oh, I don't know. Hopefully not. Uh, Renee said, agreed. Carver crisp are overpriced. And Matreya said, I feel like everything's too expensive lately. Right? I do too. You want to cut that in half for me? No. No? Well, now, if you hold that, I only have one hand. You want another half? No, I don't, actually. I'm pretty full. 
Wow. I want this. <laughs> the chili. Yeah. Um, I I feel like everything is expensive too. I feel like it. <laughs> like we just can't get caught up, kind of thing. Uh, Bluegrass Girl said, I made a peanut butter chalk zero chip stuffler today. Oh, wow. Modified a keto cookie recipe that had zucchini in it. Used peanut butter, keto chow, and just a bit of almond flour. It was insane. Wow, that sounds insane. In the membrane. Okay. Carrie said, Heath and Shelly's chili dogs are better than Sonic and better for you. That's right. Hmm. I'm just looking if I could plug this in and make it. Oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, it's been so long since I've been to Sonic. I don't even... Me too. Most of the time when we went to Sonic, it was because it's A, right by our house, and B, it was just so convenient to just go there, get it, and bring it home. <laughs> right? But like, the food wasn't that good. At the end of our neighborhood is a convenience store, and like... Not even a mile past that on the right is the sign. Yes. Uh, Renee said, y'all should try the cheese first and on the top for the crispy crust. Yes. We'll make another one then? Uh, you're not even, you can't even eat one of these. Well, also we're out of eggs. We only have one egg oh, left that's for right. breakfast. For, your, uh, coffee. for my coffee. Matreya said, oh yeah, that looks so tasty. Thank you. Um, Renee said, at least gas seems to be going down for now, 347 today. Wow. That is pretty good. But, uh, Ready, Sit Keto said, that looks really good. Thank y'all. Coffee and Keto with Karen said, yum, looks delicious. Oh, you know what we're going to have Thank you. Huh? Some of our pickles. Oh, yeah. Put some in any? No. Paul said, yeah, we're still in the mid fours here too, Renee. Wow. Uh, Ready, Sit Keto said, that's it. We're moving to Texas. Come on. Come on, there's, well, there's probably actually, a... There's actually yeah, houses for sale or for rent here in our neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. That one, this one seems even better than the first one. Uh-huh. Mm. It really is good, isn't it? I like it because every once in a while you get the, the hot dog. Uh -huh. And they're like, oh, yeah, there's a hot dog. It may have been a little better with some onion in it, though. Yeah, maybe some onion. Yeah, but I think white onion would have been better. Oh, Jamie said she got gas for three fifty five at Costco. Wow. Uh, Shauna said, okay, y'all, I'm done cooking. I've served it up. It took a pic. Now on my computer. Yay. Uh, Nicole said, I wasn't really a fan of those exogenous keto booths. Me neither. Me neither. I didn't even, um, no, we did try one. Remember the one she was like, that was the only thing, um, that who was, oh, Otta was telling us back the last time there was KetoCon in 2019, that it was so busy that you could go to booths and just grab a sample and never be seen, right? Oh, you just hit and run. Yeah, because they were so busy. Well, this time, because there wasn't a lot of people, you were kind of like their captured audience, right. right? So on one of the booths, Heath and I were just going around, and you know, you're trying to see, well, what is this? And she's, and it was a ketone booth, and I didn't know until we were right there. And then the lady's all like, "Oh, you turn blah blah blah," and she's making us try it. And then we were like, "Oh yeah, that does taste good." Oh okay, thank you. And uh, but that one did taste it. A lot Did you of the, <laughs> a lot of the ketone boot, the ketones taste awful to yes. me. When we got the one from Goody Beats, when he did the hoedown, he gave a, a sample, like it's supposed to be like a shot. And so I had Heath try it because I'm, he likes the energy drinks and everything. He couldn't even finish the shot. He like immediately threw in the trash, said that's disgusting. No bueno. <laughs> and so, uh, that I just was like, oh no. But that one ketone tasted good. But then the one other ketone booth was at the front of the whole thing. But those people were like car salesmen because they were actually going out amongst the crowd. Hey, how are you? Hey, how long have you been keto? 
What do you think about keto? Do you think you're getting results on keto? Or do you want to step up your results? And we can help you. And I'm like, okay, what is it you're selling? Like at first I'm like, who's this random person coming up to me in the middle of KetoCon? And, you know, with like nothing in her hands. And I was like, okay, are you? Like, are you part of the committee or what? And then she is like, well, we've got a ketone, we got a booth and ours is called whatever ketones. Mm. And I was like, oh yeah, we're not interested. Like, why are you doing that? Go back to your booth. <laughs> uh, right, Jamie said, just got my meatloaf in the oven, added some pesto to the mix this time oh. in addition to the tomato basil keto chow. Oh, that wow, great. that sounds really good. Uh, Matreya said, I'm used to meat bar textures. I like Mission Meats better. I've gotten heat the me the Mission Meats okay. before. You want to see if it's charged enough? Yeah. Oops. Well. Okay, let's see. Okay, well, put it on. I'll keep my clothes in. Okay. Um, Is this still working? Can y'all hear me now? Come in, Tokyo. Um, Man, that was really filling. Oh, I was saying, it's good. I guess we're not having ice cream tonight. Your, your phone's breaking up. I didn't hear you. What? There's always room for ice cream. Mm. What flavor do you want me to start? Yeah. Um, oh, Ma Renee said it's much better now. Uh, um, thank you. Uh, do you really want ice cream? <laughs> yes. Well, I don't know. Whatever one you want. I would say if you did the lemon, though, you should add blueberries to it. Okay. Okay. I'm fine with that. Do you know how to do it? No. Well, I think so. Okay. You marked it, right? There's a lemon? Yeah. Okay. Because you can catch up on comments while I'm going to play with the ice cream. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I, it's going to take me a second, though, because I'm full. Mm -hmm. That stuff is really filling. Mm-hmm. I'm glad we stuck with just the two hot dogs. Okay. Um, Renee said, there's got to be something I can do with those epic bars. You eat them. Eat them and just get through it? I don't know. Yeah, that, I uh, like them. I really, I had one earlier. She said, it was like eating blended beef in a soft warm bar, and it was even cold in my lunch bar. Oh, wow. That box. Blech. Oh, goodness. Yeah, they're a little different. I like them, though. Um, they're yeah. epic. You like everything. No, You're I like don't. Mikey. No, I don't. What's really weird? We found out this weekend. Was it Thursday night or Wednesday night? I don't know. When you made the broccoli. I first made it Wednesday. I actually liked it. Y'all know I used to hate, loathe broccoli. But she made it and I actually enjoyed it. I think that what it was before, people that were cooking it for me didn't know what they were doing. Yeah, that's usually the the whole thing. If you don't like like a certain vegetable or e you know even meat, try oh. cooking it a different way. Right. Uh, okay, great. Bluegrass girl said she messaged Autumn. Defense Wiz said you got to use a lot of that cornbread extract because the flavor cooks out. Oh, oh, especially when you bake it. Okay. So we did fifteen drops. So you're thinking like twenty five, maybe thirty. Yeah. Would probably be good. Double it. Uh, Bluegrass Girl said, Shelly, I have some Amaretti sweet corn flavor drops. I'll send some in your package. Oh, oh wow. wow. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. That sounds good. I don't think I've heard of that brand. Joe Ray said, Jalapeno corn dogs. Yes. Yes. That sounds good. I used to put fresh or I even put the pickled jalapenos in my cornbread in the past when I used to make it. Mm. And I always made it in a cast iron skillet. Oh, yeah. Definitely cast iron but also used to mix in sugar with it as well yeah or honey yes so we did that we used to do that too faith is here hey, hey, faith hey. said the eight shells keep the tomatoes from um getting blossom end rot oh wow okay i didn't know that i wished we i wished i had a green thumb but i absolutely i don't do not and with the I'm dogs too lazy yes that too and the birds. Yeah, they they would just eat up anything we would try to grow in the backyard. Mm -hmm. Plus, I feel like I don't have good light or correct light in the backyard. Right. Or probably this yard 
just means like a whole new soil. Because there's parts of the yard that nothing grows, mm -hmm. and then there's parts that overgrow. So I'm sure not the best uh, land. Um, uh, Ready Set Keto said, I don't know why, but I'm starting to feel a little hungry. Right? <laughs> We, we'll do that to you, right? I'm not. Um, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Oh, Nicole says she dries out eggshells and grind them up and put in the dog's food. I used to do that too. We used to. Yeah. Now we just don't. I just I throw them away. Should. I'm lazy. Uh, Shauna said, "Woohoo! Spicy chili for the gringo girl." I'm right? saying, look at you. A year ago, you couldn't do pepper. Now, right. you're even using Chipotle. Oh, I'm proud of you. Uh, Renee said, my dogs will totally eat all around eggshells, weirdos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Delilah will eat, lift the whole eggshell because I'll try to give it to her. Because, you know, sometimes there's that stuff left in it. And she'll lick all that out, but then she'll spit the shell back out. I don't want this. I know. She's like, I don't want this. is weird. Uh... JB said sweet cornbread would make it more like a corn dog. I just grew up with savory cornbread cooked with bacon grease. Oh, that gasher. sounds good, too. Wow. That sounds real good, too. Oh. Coffee and Keto with Karen said, love those giant colorful plates. Well, this is all next to... Um, thanks, to Thanks to Humorous Life, or Renee. She got us these Fiesta Wear plates. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, yeah, Renee. By the way, we were churching you up earlier on the uh, on the prequel for the uh, Ready Set Keto. We were telling them how we would make your parrot head gravy all the time. Yes. And oh, serve it with yeah. the, uh, the Keto Child Drop Biscuits. Uh, it's been a while since we've had I know, that, though. It is. That, yeah, your gravy is so good. Uh, speaking of, Renee said they do, uh, they have... Do many new babies running around now with their little white spots so tiny and they stare at the hounds? Was it not? I don't know. So many. They have so many new babies running around with their little white spots. Uh-oh, something. Possums? Oh, maybe so. Uh, coffee and keto with Karen said, oh, Stuffler is oozing out on the back side. That's a sign of how young it's going to be. Right? <laughs> or the first time I used it, it shot it all over the back door. Yeah. This time, it, it did pretty good. It uh -huh. eased out a little bit. That's fine. Uh, Defense Wiz said, learning my new karaoke, karaoke tune now. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in the room. Wow. <laughs> Paul, you're too much. Is that really what you're going to be singing? I'd love to see that. Uh, same group as a business, Shauna. You have two to learn now. Uh-oh. Oh, Sharon said that Stuffler looks so good. Thank y'all. Catherine's here. Hey, Catherine. Hey, howdy, howdy. Hello, still in South Dakota and watching y'all. That's awesome, Catherine. How long are y'all going to stay in South Dakota? That's now like, what, two weeks? Uh, Mary said make country style pork ribs in the crock pot nice. with stub sauce. Ooh, that nice. sounds really good. Mmm. Defense Wiz says, you never know. I may just drop in. Nothing holding me in New York now. Well, come on. Yeah. Don't threaten me with a good time. Yeah, we've got uh, another um, bedroom. We'll just yeah. rent it out to you. Uh, we got room also if you need to. We can put down a, uh, one of those blow-up mats. <laughs> Shauna said, sorry, I'm settled, I think. Hot dog sliced enough to eat now. Lips on fire. Aw. Poor thing. Reddit said, Keto said, hey, anyone that went to KPL last year, was there any kids there? I'm trying to think. I don't remember, honestly. No, there was. There was. Well, because are you bringing Noah? Because there was, um, I think, was it Gigi or no, CC Mama I that think. brought her grandchild. I think the Berries brought, um, what's his name now? I feel I don't stupid. Remember that, but I remember. So I remember. Uh, I remember um, Nurse Cindy playing with him. Or where were we at then? I remember in this then. That's way back in oh, San my bad. Antonio. Okay, my bad. But no. Anyways, there was uh, two girls who were, I would say, young teenagers. I think maybe fourteen. 
but they had met the year at the first Palooza because they thought they were going to be the only two kids. So then they now they have to go every year with their parent or grandparent and meet up with their each friends other. now. So I I do remember them, um, and I'm trying to think if there was any other kids. I don't remember honestly. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember any more kids, but I mean, we brought our dog, so. <laughs> oh, no, I felt this. I thought there was a chip in it. Oh no! Uh, Brenda's here. Hey, Brenda. She says, "Happy Friday night, everyone." Well, happy Friday to you. What have you got going on? Mary Ann's here. Hey, hey. Mary Ann. She says she's going to Orlando. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that's like not that far from you, right? Uh, Jamie said, looks yummy. I'm always missing something to soak up my chili. We'll have to try this. Exactly. This is perfect for getting all that chili juice, right? Uh, Paul said, have those dance moves ready to go, Renee. I showed you the video. So that goes for you too. For three of four Vinga boys. Oh, what wow. in the world y'all got planned? Uh, Shada said, laugh out loud. Hunter Green, Heath, pork and poultry seasoning. I love that stuff on everything. Mm. Reminds me of a commercial. Wow. <laughs> I put that stuff on mm -hmm. everything. That's awesome. It is a really good seasoning. The pork and poultry. I mean, we put it on our deviled eggs. Yeah. Because it's so good. Actually, I had an old... Uh teammate at work that told me about the co-worker told me that she says what she did i gave her a package of it way back this is even before we were keto mm. i've been making this stuff for forever and i gave it to her and then you know most people when they make deviled eggs they just they dust it with paprika she said she was out of paprika and just in a pinch she grabbed the five spice and start, i mean i'm sorry the uh, pork and poultry rub started dusting her eggs with it and she said she was amazing like she texted me right then telling me about it and ever since then that's what we started doing too that's a great idea. Ooh, sorry. Renee said we're making her crack up with our mic situation. Uh -huh. You're welcome. It, we got to make it interesting, right? Right. Joe Ray said leftovers from Kita Palooza. Oh, no, not a pitch left. Oh, wow. <sighs> Uh, Shauna said, donations accepted. Right. Sherry said, I'm putting in my order now. Okay. Okay. Uh, Matre said, mm, taco seasoning and five spice. Mm. Okay. Oh, I know. That would be good. Matre? Okay. And then Renee said, angry. Okay. Yeah. And she, oh, angry is the best. Okay. So we, um, so we have our general Texas five spice. So this is like our, our base. spicy stuff, right? Um, so it's got four peppers, so it's habanero, uh, cayenne, cayenne, serrano, and jalapenos, and then Redmond's real salt. Um, I think your mics were louder last week because on your shirt instead of the apron. Oh. So what about maybe, mine? Um, Is mine good? I, she's saying maybe put it up on your shirt collar instead. Oh, but Let's see. Two. How about but, now? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Is that better now, Renee? I'll probably make you happy, Renee. <laughs> but anyways, um, so the Texas Five Spice, that's our Texas Five Spice that I came up with, which y'all, I was looking up how to uh, trademark, and um, ooh, it's kind of expensive to trademark. It's like starts at $250 to trademark something. So I have to save up for that. Um, okay, she says good. Um, but good. anyways, that's our Texas Five Spice. Now I do make an angry version because for most people, the Texas Five Spice is gonna be a good kick. It, you know, for some, Shauna, like they won't even touch it, right? It's just too spicy. Um, but I, I like it, but I consider myself a chili head, so I like things really spicy. He, he can handle it. In doses. In doses. But then we decided for people like me, Renee, Radical Geek, who like things really hot, we made an angry version. I think Norm does too. He likes that. Yeah, angry. and Norm, yes, Norm likes it angry. 
and basically what that is is it's going to be heavier on the habaneros yeah and i use a special cayenne that is also like a it's a high up on the it's a hotter cayenne seat as well uh nicole said my dogs are dragging around a buffalo horn what nice. Uh, Joe Ray said, you could use egg whites instead of full eggs. That would make them taste less eggy. That's what ah. I do with my chaffles. Oh, that's Oh, smart. that's good to know. Is James and Emily still in there? Uh, so they know that. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Thanks, Joe Ray. Ready, set, keto should know that. Mm -hmm. um, Renee said, we'll bring Fiesta wear for angry Texas five spice. Deal. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Who's that? Shauna just sent us $20. Oh, I don't know. She said so that we could, uh, she said starting the Texas Five Spice tra uh, Trademark Fund. Aw. Aw, you're so awesome. Thank, thank you. you so much, Shauna. Jeez, thank you. Aw. I was just going to save up uh, our yeah. little money for people who are channel members. You know what I didn't do tonight, though? Uh-oh. Or today? Uh-oh. Because I know, y'all, I usually go to the grocery store on Friday, so I'm just not feeling it today. I'm just hanging around the house all day long. Mm -hmm. I did inventory of what we're going to use tonight, and I was like, we got everything. I don't need to go nowhere. So I didn't buy any lotto tickets for tonight. <gasps> now, now, how are we going to cash it in tomorrow? Well, we'll play tomorrow night. Because we got some errands to run tomorrow anyway. I got to go buy those glasses. And somebody told me I couldn't buy them unless you're there with me. That's probably the best thing to do. All right. Um, Shana said, ooh, roadkill. Jeez, I just learned how to cook a steak. Right? <laughs> right. Yeah, that's, a, that's a, a step too far for me at, at this moment, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm not that broke. <laughs> Renee, I mean, Renee. Matreya, Radical Greek, said, I think y'all should be prepared for the fact that at KPL, I will fall asleep before streaming in. <laughs> you see me start to do that here, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Mary said, you don't know how old Roadkill is. Exactly. That's the thing, too. There is like, a shelf life is on that, it? isn't there? I, I guess I did, maybe I should have asked the lady more questions. No, I no, just took no. it, and I was like, oh, wow. Oh, she, you do that? She could have been lying to you as well. She though. could have very well. Like she could was probably like, "How gullible is this person?" Yeah, right. I'm really stopping on the side of the road to pick up uh, this dead animal, and I'm just like buying into it. Uh, Defense was said reminds me of the Roadkill Cafe T-shirts from the '90s, right? right? Uh, Brenda said, "I can't hear heat. Is there something going on with the microphones?" Yes, there was. This was earlier. But we got them fix, fixed, think. I think. Um, defense was a chunk of skunk, three forty nine a pound. Uh, <laughs> nope. Since then, my grandma hit a pheasant, and my grandpa made her turn around and get it. At least she knew how fresh it was. Well, yeah, that makes a little more sense. And he's like, well, dang it, you killed it. We got to eat it now. Right. <laughs> Jen said, just save $10 using the code Hungry Horde at Redmond's on my 10-pound bucket of kosher salt. Nice. That's awesome, Jen. Thank you. Yes, we are affiliates with Redmond's. Uh, they actually have a really nice affiliate program. So if you um, use our link down below, you save, I think it's 10 or 15% off. I think it's 15 uh -huh. at Redmond. And, I mean, we use everything, not just their salt, which is the bomb. But we, I also use their toothpaste. I mm. love their toothpaste. Like, I can't, we were at, I think we went at a hotel, and I used the, uh, oh, at the Airbnb. I forgot my Redmond's, and I just used the. Theirs? No, the ones, we had some in our suitcase. So I always put toothpaste in the suitcase that always stays there just it's in case. And I was like, oh, this just, the Redmond's just feels better. Right. Um, and then I also use the uh, facial. the facial, the clay mask and stuff for my face. And oh, you um, you might have finished it already. The peach uh -huh. pre workout. I think so. I don't remember. The yes. relight. 
But thank you so much, Jen. That's very generous of you. Thank you for using our code. That helps the channel as well. Uh, Jamie says she loves wild boar. Put some in the meatloaf tonight with, along with venison. That's awesome. I like wild boar. I don't like how it can smell when you're cooking it. Now, this is very well could have been the source. Because I've gone other places. We went to a place in, um, was it North, where's Deadwood? North Dakota? I think so. North Dakota. It was Deadwood. I love that little town too. Anyhow. And we went to this restaurant. Might have been the Deadwood Cafe. And uh, they had a, a wild boar ragu, wasn't uh -huh. it? It was so good. I was she like, was like, any other time I've ever made it before, because my, my my uncle is a hunter and he gives us stuff all the time and then we would cook it and she didn't want it she didn't think it tasted good she didn't think it smelled good but then it was her idea to order this at a restaurant and i was like philly you want to order this you're like yeah why not it sounds good okay because you normally don't like wild boar but all right she loved it it was so good but whenever he's gotten it from his uncle when he would cook it, it smelled like horrible B.O. Mm -hmm. And it was so bad that I was like, look, you can't cook it in this house. So when we talked to some other hunters, they were like, oh, that means he didn't process it right. Because mm -hmm. it's not supposed to stink when you cook it. And I said, well, that stuff stunk. Uh -huh. Like, I just could not deal with it. It smelled so bad. Uh, Man, I'm really full. Uh-huh. I don't think we'll be having a ice cream tonight. Uh, Bluegrass Girl said, harvesting roadkill is legal in over 20 states, but you have a 15-minute window in the heat, and if dirty or wet, it's a no-go. There are usually guidelines issued by the state. Wow. Well, that, I learned something there. 15 minutes. Then you're done with. Um, oh, what's this? Quilter in the Woods 62. Oh, I like that. Do you actually quilt some things? Said, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the Horde. Um, they said, I have got to get me a stuffler, another kitchen gadget, but all the recipes everyone's coming up with sound awesome. Right? They do sound really we good. We honestly didn't think we would use it as often as we do. Oh. Um, I know. It, it, that's One thing I hate is it's like, oh, another kitchen gadget. Right. And especially since you always liked Alton Brown, right? And you know his views. He doesn't, he doesn't like unitaskers. Mm -mm. But I don't guess it's really a unitasker because you can fill it with whatever you want. I mean, yeah, it's still going to be a stuffed waffle, but well, we're using it also for poffles, so it's not a unique tasker. What? Maybe I don't want the ice cream. <laughs> but I do. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> <sighs> oh, goodness. And we got to eat those blueberries before they go bad. And it's Sean a have to. Says, but Sonic has the good ice. That's right. You're, you're so right, Sonic. Which one? The lemon? Sure. I'm up for lemon. I love lemon. Who else is a lemon fan? Now, on the lemon, I did add... Uh, packets of true lemon because I like more of a sour lemon. All right, put this thing together. Make sure I'm doing it right. Teach me a great one. Okay. It's this, well, right? Well, I need the other piece that That's it sits in. Oh, okay, so where's that? I think it's in there by the machine. Mm. It helps if I give you the whole thing, huh? Yeah, it would be helpful. Here, I'll trade you. I'll take these. So you want to make sure that this thing right here uh -huh. is always like in the middle. All right. So that's what holds the blade. I trust Be you. careful. That blade is actually sharp on this, y'all. Actually, a blade. You need to treat it as if it's a blade. All right. There we go. And it just snaps into place. And then my husband can... Uh, Put it in there. I mean, they, they make it pretty self-explanatory. And then, like, every I did, like Sharon said, after you do the light ice cream, 
before you do a respin, add like a tablespoon of water. It really makes a difference. Uh, Quilter in the Woods said, I like Sonic Tea, but that is about all I can get there, right? Ooh. What? This is not set down right. Oh. Are you using that electrical still? Um. Because that was the cord oh, that okay. was plugged in over there. It was that. I think it's charged enough. Well, if they can't hear us, then we'll know. <laughs> well, that gets us out. We'll have to stick in there, you know? Okay. Oh! Well, that might be part of the reason why you put it in there. You had it, like, shoved down in there. Okay. There we go. All right. Um, I know. Like, I remember used to, we would go to Sonic, and we would get, like, all kinds of stuff. But, yeah, now anymore... Like, we haven't gotten I used to get a cherry Dr. Pepper. Here. Yeah, he used to always get a cherry Dr. Pepper. Uh, I always got the cherry lime made, but now I haven't had any of that in years. Uh, Renee said, I just used my Dash Mini. That See, that would work too. Shauna said, when I lived in Louisiana, there was a Sonic around the corner from me. I'd get their giant sweet tea at lunch and make it through the rest of the day, right? He might need to remember not to wear your mask when you're in there. My mask? Your, I mean, your your microphone. All right, well, i got to take it off my mask because i got to keep it. Okay, uh-oh. Yeah, nobody wants to hear that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Cool Kid Kino said, I'm serious about to make myself a savvy fun for a nugget ice maker. Right? You should. Uh, Shana said, we're in the mid to high $5 range for gas in California. Oh, goodness. Jamie said, I love Sonic Watermelon Slush. They discontinued it, and I know I was probably never having it again, but still sad. Aww. I don't even remember the watermelon. Uh, Radical Geek said, next time a mustard-based side sauce might be nice. Oh, that would be. That would have gone well with it. And then I'll have to ask Renee's question about DDPY when he comes back. Uh, Sue said, the ice maker we had on our floor at the office made Sonic ice. Oh, how nice. Quilter in the Woods said, I priced the Sonic Ice Bakers about a year ago. I couldn't find them any cheaper than $400. Oh. I mean, I like their ice, but I, no, I'm not going to pay $400. Like, if a machine was $40, then I would be like, okay, we could get it. But right now, I'm fine with my chunks of ice that come out of our refrigerator ice maker. Uh, Renee said some of the Keto Cow booths were like walking into a, a U.S. car lot. The salesman spots you. Yes, how, how it was. It You'll when it stops. Oh, okay. Uh, so Renee says, "How is the DDPY going?" Same as it always is. He said, "It's same as it always is." Actually, he did do the workout. Um, it was Wednesday. I saw. I watched him because he waited till the end of the day. Uh, he did it right before autumn's, right? Yeah. Wednesday's autumn, right? Yeah. Okay, so now when you take it off, because you hear that it stopped, I don't know. I'm listening. Then you're going to undo the lid and just put like a tablespoon of water. Oh, okay. And then you're going to do the, the re-spin cycle. All right. Jennifer says, hey guys. Hey Jennifer, welcome back. Jamie said the ketone esters are harsh, like cough syrup. Yes, but I can really feel it kicking in. Oh, you could? The one that we tried, I honestly could not tell a difference. I mean, we took their sample. I'm going to take a sample, y'all. I already determined if it's free, it's with me. Um, but, and the sample was like, oh, you add it to like a bottle of water. Okay. Hold on. So I'm just going to release this here. Ooh, that's looking pretty. I have to try just a little bit. Mmm, that is a lemon. Quilter of the Woods 
said, what are both of your total losses now? Haven't been around for a while. So. I don't know, honestly. I know he has lost around 200 pounds. Right? Do we put the blueberries in now? No. You're going to do the respin. Oh, respin. Okay. Because a minute ago I did the light spin. Yeah, now it's going to be the respin. Okay. Um, okay, so I am down still about 50 pounds. I'll be honest with y'all. I've been in a stall for a year and a half or so. Like, it just, nothing has, my inches have gone down, but my weight has not changed. Uh, like, it'll fluctuate. It'll go, I keep going up and down the same five pounds, but no real change overall. Like, when you course through the last year and a half, it's like the same. But my inches in a year and a half, I have lost altogether 40 inches in the last year and a half. Um, that's all inch loss. Now he is at your last weigh in. I guess you're. I don't remember because it's on my phone. Okay. But I think you're close to. Uh, you're at 200 or you're close to it. The problem with he. Whenever, we had already been keto about three months when he stepped on a scale. Yeah. So who knows how much he lost in the three months. Because we didn't, actually, we didn't even own a scale. Yeah. So the first time we found out his weight is when we went to the doctor's office. Yeah. And they weighed him, and at that time he weighed 460 pounds. But he'd been keto for three months, so he could have easily been over 500 pounds. Right. Oh. Um, now, we're just going to melt the keto brick. We okay. like to make those those pups with it. I want to do this first. Yeah. Um, so he is now, I think, when he weighed a few weeks ago, because he maybe weighs once a month if he remembers. Right. And so he was down to 285. Yeah. 285. So, he's still losing. Um, it, of course, it gets drastically slower, you know, the longer you've done it. But he, honestly, he, he doesn't care. He's just like, well, it, it'll come off when it comes off. He didn't gain it overnight. So, he's not, like, expecting to lose it all in a short period. So, you're going to give me one more. Like, three or four. Yeah, a handful. <laughs> okay. So I this only had one respin, right? Yeah. I'm going to put this in the microwave now, okay? Yes. A minute? Yes. All right, come on. You okay? Yeah. Because it's not like you dropped it, dropped it. I did drop it, drop it. Oh, wow. Clean that up a little. Okay. Wow, that looks really. Look at that. It does. That was amazing. But you've only done one respin, right? right? When you do one more respin, okay. and then we'll do the mix in. Okay. There you go. One more. Hold on. Wow. And then do me a favor. Uh huh. Hook all these down. Oh, yeah, yeah. One more respin? Yes. And then we'll do the mixing. Okay. okay, so I'm just poking. This is the little tray we use for the melted keto brick. Uh, Renee said, those two girls that approached Shelly and I were so pushy. They were telling us we needed mental clarity. I said, I'm clear enough, thanks. Right? I should have said, well, I'm not going to take it if it turns me into you. Wow. <laughs> Joe Ray said, what about the one that had high oleic canola oil in their tortillas and were trying to convince everyone it was fine for you? Oh, my gosh. Which one was that? I, uh, was it the one that was right by the monster booth? Because I didn't even look. And then he, you know, he'd think at KetoCon is he'd be like, is there almond flour? And they'd be like, yes. He'd say, never mind. <laughs> and so the, I... Remember, there was a guy that was cooking up some tortillas, and I think he was putting cheese or something between them. 
And he was like, oh, try their tortillas. And Heath was like, is it almond flour? He's like, well, yeah. He's like, I can't. So that kind of got us out of a lot of stuff. Uh huh. I did try the tortilla, though, because it was free. And it was, the, I'm going to try anything that's for free at the KetoCon. But well, I'm not going to buy it. Right. Well, yeah. Whew. Jennifer said, love the tomato basil keto chow. Wish they had big bags. They do, the but basil? it's seasonal. Yeah. So that's uh, honestly all the way we found them. Yeah, because we have the big bags of tomato basil. Okay, let's do this again. Um, Nicole said, Hans told those two ladies with the ketones that it tastes like butt. <laughs> that's awesome. I wish... I wish you had, uh, you could get Hans to open up more. He's so shy. I know. Wow, look at this and talk to more strangers. I know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Slow down, Turbo. Oh? You're going to try it first? Yeah. That's what all? That? What's going on? What was that beeping? The keto oh, the, break? Oh, the... I'm trying to make a hole for the... Oh, here, I'll help you. All right, well, you're taking these little tiny bites. How are you helping? I'm helping me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Try to do the mix-in. Oh, man, this is amazing, y'all. Does it taste more like a sour or a sweet lemon? It's sour. Oh, Try good. It. Here. Oh, my gosh. Mmm. Trying to get a little hole going here to kind of put all the little blueberries in. And the little divots. Yeah, you want to lick that one too? Sure. Here? I'm coming. All right. You ain't going to yell at me. All right. Let's see here. And it's just us two. If y'all are like, oh my gosh, you're double dipping. It's just Heath and I. So. And then I think we're going to start doing this uh, cover on here every time now. This is handy. Okay. We got such a big box. Why not? Yeah. Uh, we just put one with the leaf, the branch on it. Well, that's how you know it's organic. Oh, my gosh. All right, y'all. All right, now you got to do the mix-in option, and then I'll need the, uh -huh. yeah, oh yeah, I'll have to go a little longer. <clears throat> you see what I'm talking about though, when you have to punch some of those back out? Yeah, I already did that. It's done with the scissors though, right? Yeah. All right. And we got to support our other affiliate links. Oh yeah, Keto Chow. Uh, those keto, the one, I didn't even try the one at the first booth. I forget who did. I don't know if it was Renee or maybe Jamie did, and they said it tasted horrible. And I was like, oh, well, I don't want to try it. I mean, I like free, but not if it's going to be disgusting. Uh, Shauna said, okay, y'all, I have just learned that Chipotle chili powder is spicier than the regular variety. And I used it full force in my chili. Yes, ma'am, it is spicier. Quilter of the Root. Wood said, I got a new creamy. Yay! Going to try it out for the first time tomorrow. Awesome! We really weren't going to get one, but uh, Blue Dub brought it to KetoCon, and then I was like, okay, fine. It is better. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, I got a list of other ones for sale. Uh, Shana said, I might have to make half a keto chow to cool down my mouth. Did you mix in the ketchup <laughs> like I told you? Susan said, ice cream fills in all the empty spots. Right, Susan? <laughs> Renee said, what? He ate little and liked the little trees? The little fake trees, yeah. Well, see, also, Just, I was raised, my, uh, my grandfather, that he loved Bluebell ice cream. The only thing he liked better 
was whatever ice cream was on sale. <laughs> he told Grandma to get that. And but uh, every night, he would have a bowl after after dinner, right? And uh-huh. a little dessert. But then when she went to bed, he would get back up and he'd go level off whatever was in that uh, half-gallon carton. Every night, he would level off the ice cream. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Joe Ray said, was it just steamed broccoli that you'd had before? Probably. Because she said, because that is gross. Well, remember, too, my sister would make that broccoli rice casserole dish. I never liked that either. No. Um, And I have to say, like, I know a lot of people like the broccoli at Texas Roadhouse and everything. Uh But anytime I've gotten that or any of the... Like at the Chinese restaurants. No, I was going to say at the steak restaurants, anytime I've gotten their broccoli as a side, even when it's loaded up, the re- the fact that they still just steam it, they just steam the broccoli, and it's just not that good that way. But I'm saying those like all the times they would do it as a part of your plate, and when you get uh, go to the Chinese dinner. Oh, the that's Chinese restaurants. Yeah, Remember? Chinese, and that was always steamed though. Yeah. Yeah, when you get like the beef and broccoli, is that what you're talking about? No. I would just order. You know, oh, just they would put it on the like side. It would be just toxic on my plate. <laughs> Uh, but how I did it, I'm going to be doing a recipe video on it. I was trying to just Maybe get do it, it next week. I don't know. Just right. No, it won't be this next week because we've already got the videos out on those. No, 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 no. For the next, next week's live. Oh, uh, I don't know. But basically I'm roasting the broccoli and, um, adding like salt or, or well, of course salt, duh. Um, but I'm using... Basically, I'm going done. by um, that food should have salt, acid, fat, right? So my salt, of course, is Redmond's. My fat is butter, and I have a secret ingredient. And then my acid, I found worked better. I tried one with apple cider vinegar. No, but then I tried one with fresh lime juice. That worked really well. So that's the acid I'm using is the lime juice and um, then those others. So I'm going to be working on a recipe, though, to put it out. But I made it, and then um, I do add with it when I'm roasting the broccoli. I do add um, some cherry tomatoes and with it, too, and so that that then gives it that little... uh, kind of brightness, you know, because to me, uh, broccoli is just so green, so then when you add the cherry tomatoes and we get the mix that has the yellow and the red, then it just adds a nice little pop of color to it as well. And then she didn't do it to hers, but I topped mine with this yeah. Parmesan cheese. This is my favorite one to get now at uh, H-E-B. It's the copper kettle one. It was not focusing in, right? Yeah, perfect. It comes with this little handy container, too. Yeah. Mm. But I just found that that made the, the roasting of the broccoli makes it really good because that helps it not feel like sometimes broccoli, when it's steamed, it's kind of rubbery, right? But this made it tender, but yes, gave that kind of roasting quality to it. And then the seasoning and everything that was used, it, it just turned out really good. So the first night I made it, I just made enough for me. And he tried it, and he was like, what? What? I hate you now. Okay. I'm so confused. I'll talk back. Oh, okay. You're going to lick it tonight? Yeah. All right. Don't do it on camera. Woo. Wow. It might have blended some of the, the blueberries that we put on top in with this. Good. Because uh, it's kind of uh, purple now. Good. <laughs> well, she's probably under the, di- the uh, buffet. I'm, I'm looking and I don't see her. Mm. Oh, wow. Y'all. Oh, exactly. This is good because it's got the little bits of the blueberries. There might be some whole ones down below, but on top it's little bits. 
And then this is the lemon keto chow. And then I added two packets of the true lemon seasoning or in true lemon packets, whatever. And then the blueberries. Mm-hmm. Wow. That, like, honestly, y'all, when I think of, uh, like, Bluebell is what we always had, this is just as oh, good as any of them. Like, it's I better. Don't, there's no listeria. <laughs> there's no, like, sugar, right? Well, except for the blueberry. Well, yeah. But that was probably a serving mm -hmm. of blueberries between us, you know? And we're not going to finish this whole thing tonight. We're not. We may not. Mm. But look at that, y'all. You can see the blueberry in there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow. What? I got an idea. Mm. Okay. Sorry, I got distracted there. Sharon said, I think last week the bikes were on their sh shirt collars and higher up. That's true. I'm going to add some of this to mine. There you go. Can they actually see it though? Is that better? Yeah. Ghost pepper and blueberry hot sauce. There's another local Houston company. Nicole said she gave away most of her keto cod goodies. Oh wow. Wow. Uh Shauna said I'm finally eating dinner before nine PM. Wow, way to go, Sean. Oh, whoa. That's a free pour. And I thought you were going to put it on yours. Uh, this is mine. I'm fixing to eat it. You want a bowl? No. I'm sorry. You're just going to like this anyways. I wasn't expecting it to pour like that. <sighs> That's awesome. Shauna said, I finally, yo, I read that one. Uh, Should I go re-spin it? No. Let's pour it out. Okay. Get you a little bowl. Oh, okay. Right? Just get you a bowl and put your ice cream in. That's really good. Did you try it yet? <laughs> I really like that. Because my favorite thing to do with that hot sauce before was like put it on my pancakes or uh, waffles when we make breakfast. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, Matreya said, I have a Nutribullet blender and make slushies by blending ice water and element. The watermelon salt is fantastic. Yeah, the watermelon element is really good. Uh, yeah, I would like that. I like the raspberry one, too, because that's the one that uh, Renee said to make it like a slushy, and that's what I've been doing. Like, I put it in the, either I'll do the chipped ice and then shake it up really well and then put it in the freezer for like an hour, and it's just like perfect. Um, yeah, Renee says she loves watermelon anything. And an added lime bit makes it perfect. And Matreya said, yes, adding lime is fantastic, right? Shauna said, you know, those skinnies I made the margarita ones with an arrowhead zesty lime sparkling water yesterday, and it was wow. good. Yeah. Wow, that sounds really good. We are good. big fans of the skinnies. Yeah, I like those too. Uh, Marie said, I made some butter mayo last night, or tonight, oh, wow. using powdered egg yolks. Oh, wow, that's cool. It's chilling in the fridge right now. Wow, that sounds really neat. It does. You'll have to let me know how it turns out. I'm sorry, I'll roll it over you? Your chair keeps butting into my leg. Because you're not square on the table. Ugh. Ugh. I see what you're saying about rolling all over everywhere. 
chair is just so comfortable. This is the same chair I use at, uh, at the, in the office. Uh, let's see. So I said, hey, that's my room. Oh. <laughs> and Renee said, that's my room first. Yeah, but neither one of you are here. Uh, so if, actually, if, actually, Renee, I am now using your room as my office. Oh, we that's moved true. moved the bed out of there. Yeah, we switched. Your room's no longer there. It's now, we moved it to the middle room. But um, we'll need to get that straightened out before we have any guests over, actually. Because mm -hmm. your brother needs to get his stuff. Quilter in the Woods said, where in Kentucky is Kitapalooza? It's in Louisville. I hope I said that right. Oh, okay. Susie said, Beckett was at Keto Summit Omaha. That's where you're thinking. Okay. Thank you. And for whatever reason, I couldn't remember his name either. Oh, and then Renee said there were kids all over at KetoCon. That's true. There was. Uh, Quilter of the Woods said, what is Omaha Summit? It's closer, I think. Yeah, in, in Omaha, Nebraska. It's really good. Now, they limit the number of tickets, and I believe right now, two crazy ketos, you could still get a pretty good discount with their codes. Um for that, Keto Oma, uh huh. Is that the one that Dr. Fit and Fabulous helps run? Yes. Yeah. And it's really nice. It's a great one. I think it's, Susan, correct me, I think it's only two days. And we went to it last year. It was really nice. They would do a VIP thing that you could get. If you do that, then there's a special dinner that night. I find the tickets for Keto Omaha were very reasonable. Like, especially compared to KetoCon. I was going to say, it's Renee or Shauna. Can one of y'all drop a link in there for Chris Bear's page he has for all those uh, keto events? That way anybody can go search and look for anything near them. Mm -hmm. He has a really good uh, website. That, and if you know about a, an event, contact him and he'll add it to the list for you. Yeah. But, um... So Keto Omaha, how they do it is they have speakers, right? They have one room. It's a really nice facility. Very clean, very nice, very comfortable. So one room is the vendor area. And I thought last year it was a good amount of vendors. Yeah. Um, got to definitely try some new things. And then they'll have the speaker area. And you go in, listen to the speakers. It's, I mean, it, it just, it's a... It's a lot smaller than KetoCon, mm -hmm. Way. but they want to keep it like that. And but you feel like you're more accessible to the speakers, so like they're all right there. Um, so oh, like last, we'll do a question and answer period after. Yeah, and I mean just some incredible talks last year, and I'm sure they will again. And then they also do the 50 mile walk uh, march mm -hmm. um, as part of like a way to raise funds. Um, not for them, for, I think it's for veterans. Uh -huh. I want to say some, there's, they, uh, partnered up with a wounded warrior, I think. Yeah, maybe. I remember for sure. Susie could probably tell me or somebody. Um, but it was just a really fun event, really nice area to go to. We stayed at an IHG, yeah. a Holiday Inn Express, like that was like five minutes from the place. So it was real easy to get there to and from. And it was just nice, you know, hanging out. That's where we got to meet Susan for the first time. Uh, we met some other great people that night. Uh, Keto Geek or Ketogenic Geek, I think, was there. I think so, yeah. Um, like, yeah, just a lot of fun people. And it's just, it, I really enjoyed it. I would definitely recommend it. If we could go this year, we would. But it's just... We only have so many days of um, PTO, and um, like he used most of his for the cruise. Right. Now I have plenty of PTO, but he doesn't. Right. So he's got just enough, I think. Or did you even find out? I haven't yet. I submitted it, but she hasn't replied. Oh, he thinks he'll have enough to take off from when we go to Kita Palooza. Because so. originally we were going to fly in, but then we're looking at the cost of that and the cost for uh, boarding the dogs. So we think it's going to be cheaper if we just drive and take the dogs with us. It is significantly cheaper. Yeah. Uh, because one, um, it, it's just the, 
to board the dogs is like eighty dollars plus taxes a day. Yeah. So that alone, you know, if you figure four days, well, gosh, that really adds up. And then plus, I feel bad boarding them up. But anyhow, so we're taking the dogs, and then the flights are like so expensive. So we were like, well. I, they have apps now, and it told us, okay, if you drive, this is how much gas would cost you. You, like, put in the type of vehicle you have, and it estimates the, how much you'll spend in gas. And it's like, we spent, it's saying we would spend less than $200 in gas right now to drive up there at 200 back. Well, $400, like, we couldn't even get a, one ticket for that. And um, also, I feel bad, too, because we just adopted Samson. Yeah. We got him from a pound. Or was it? Dog. Yeah, basically the pound. Well, then I'm so afraid it hadn't been that long since we've gotten him. I it's kind of confusing thinking that he's getting sweated again. So I don't want to mess with him. Yeah. And they did so well mm -hmm. when we went to KetoCon. That was Delilah is our old lab, right? She's 11 now. So she's used to the whole road trip thing. Like she went with us last year to Kitapalooza and to Omaha mm -hmm. and a whole bunch. And she did really well. Uh, so she's used to it. You know, it, she, it's an old hat for her. But Sam is our new dog that we just adopted um, back in January, February, some this year. And he had never, is what we found out is it was a sur owner surrender where supposedly he was just kept outdoors all day his whole life and so he's three and you know never was never an inside dog but he he certainly adjusted very well yeah. to being an indoor dog um he has his own spot on the couch yes uh, so he is some kind of lab mix i don't you know several of y'all met him at KetoCon, so, um, you know, Someone's just, you, you have your guesses as to what you think he is, but anyways, so he's never really been on trips, or, like, everything's brand new for him, but it's so cute, because he's still got that puppy, even though he's, like, three years old, three, maybe four, who knows, he still, though, because everything is new, he reacts like a puppy, uh -huh. and he just gets so excited, so, he did fabulous on the road trip to KetoCon. I mean, I know that was only like a two and a half hour drive, but still he did really yeah. well. And then he did excellent at the Airbnb. Like they did not potty in the house at all. The only thing he did mess up was when he ate your this mask. Yeah, he did eat my, I still use a CPAP. I know a lot of people don't like the CPAPs, but I actually, I, I still enjoy mine. <laughs> I know that's weird. But, um, well, it helps you breathe, so why the hell do you not? Yeah, you're done with this, right? Yeah, I am now. Oh, well, not just, as I was letting that drip. Yeah. Um, I'm so on the last night of uh, Keto Con, he had jumped in the bed, and I didn't know, but he found my face mask, you know, my CPAP mask, and he chewed it. And so I didn't get any hardly any sleep that night. Um, and so, uh, I had to get another, thankfully I had an extra mask here at the house. So when we got back home, it was fine. Well, luckily but, that's the only, there's only been like two or three things he's ever chewed up. Yeah. So it, I mean, he's been good now in that respect. Yeah. I, I think he's been an excellent yeah. dog. Yeah. I mean, he's done he's adopted, really well. Adapted well. Yeah. And, uh. Yeah, he's, he's done very well. And I thought it was really good, too, because when Renee came up with her dogs, uh -huh. they all, three of them got, all four of them got along. I didn't, yeah. I didn't worry about uh, Delilah, because they've already done that before. Yeah, that's true. But I true. just didn't know how uh, Samson was going to act. Right, and I, th and I think he was trying to have fun with Devara, because he was like, oh my gosh, here's another dog that'll run with me. Because uh -huh. Delilah is... is Poor thing, she's just gotten in, up at her age where she's like, no, I'm not going to sprint across the yard. <laughs> you know? right. And Sam's still at that age where he's like, look, I can run. What does Renee call it? The, the zoomies? Right. Uh, Shauna said, okay, even Hungry Heat's pork and poultry would not make deviled eggs good enough for me. Aww. <laughs> 
Shauna said, Texas Five Spice, an angry Texas Five Spice on the Shada, Shada scale is my wake is Sunday hot. <laughs> That's more like nuclear level. Uh, Renee said, it'd be worth it. it Worth it, cause you'll make that back in less than a month. Oh. What the um, the Texas Five sp- uh, trademarking it? Oh yeah. I would hope I would make that back in a month, but right now we're not even able to make enough to sell that much in a month. It didn't um, help that I didn't go to the, uh, the store today. Well, we're going tomorrow. Yeah. Quilter in the Woods said, pepperoncinis are hot to me. I'm a weenie. Oh, pepperoncinis are good, though. But yeah. I get I get you. Pepperoncinis can be spicy. Sometimes. Yeah, but if you're eating a pepperoncini, yeah, then you can probably. Then I think the taco seasoning would be fine, but probably not the Texas Five Spice. Or do like um, another one. I don't, I don't think I've seen her in tonight, but Brianna of the Hungry Horde. She got, because last year, everybody that went to Palooza got a sample of the Texas Five Spice. And she says she just puts a, like, a little half teaspoon in her whole meatloaf. Just enough to give a little, little bite to it, but not enough to hurt her. Well, if y'all <laughs> saw the pictures I posted on uh, my Instagram and Facebook for the recipe tonight, where it shows the, it called for chipotle powder, I actually put a Five Spice instead of that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Faye said, I did your mix of the remnants, real salt, pepper, and garlic powder in the same shaker. Nice. It's so much faster to season meals. Thank yes. you again. That's awesome. I'm glad you like that. Yeah, yeah that's just our um, salt, pepper, garlic blend. We just do equal parts, Redmond salt, ground pepper, and garlic powder. It's our, it's our GP. It's what we call our general purpose. Yeah, we just use it for everything, and it, it is just easy, you know, just for something – or just to use as a base seasoning. Yeah. Um, when you're like, okay, um, you know, here, I'm going to dust these steaks with it. And then that way, if you decide to have like uh, Asian style on the side, that seasoning isn't going to conflict with it. It'll still play well with others. Yeah. Uh, Matreya said the Agri Five Spice was so delicious, made by nostrils sting. Nice. Delicious. Oh, I like that. Uh, Make, uh, Shauna's going to run for the hills with it. <laughs> right? She'd be like, see, it made me cry. Humorous Life said, I'll have y'all with Mo, Mo, Mo space for other stuff besides Fiesta. Oh. Oh? What is it? I don't know. Laugh out loud. Uh, Blue Dove said, I need a Spice Wuss version. Unlike Shauna, I'm not trying to graduate to higher Scoville's Scores. Yeah, because remember the Why not? Her, the Purnell's was too much for her. I know. And that was a medium. I've never seen them make a mild. The only thing I've yeah. ever seen in the stores is either the medium or the hot. Yeah, the Purnell's. Shauna said, Heath, you have to buy lottery tickets. I still need my traveling home. Uh-huh. Well, if I <laughs> hurry, I can go get tickets tonight, I guess. The, 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 the drawing's at 10. It's 10 till 9, so I'd have to leave right now. So I said, oh, I'm not moving up the Scova scale. I start way down on the Shauna scale, Blue Dove. <laughs> healing. Yeah, I did that. Oh, why? Because I wanted to. I'm this not, isn't staying permanent. But it is permanent tonight, though. I didn't want to start peeling on us tonight. Uh, and then Hoover, Hoover's wife said, that's called garlic powder, Blue Dove. <laughs> right? I mean, as I was trying to think, well, what... What could I do in the Texas spot five spice to tone it down enough? And just I the just, salt. I know that that's just Redmond's because I don't know because I think even the jalapeno would be too spicy, yeah, right? Probably. Uh, Shauna said roadkill skunk comes pre-seasoned. Oh. Uh. Humorous life said kill it and grill it. Someone needs to use that for a roadkill cafe. <laughs> Okay, Jamie said, I don't eat green chilies, poblanos, and stuffed pe- Oh, I do eat green chilies, poblanos, and stuffed pepper, or stuffed jalapenos. Who, who said this? Blue Dove. Oh. So we could do. We we'll just leave out the, uh, no, the well, habanero. Leave that out. Well, no, we could do green chilies, poblanos, jalapenos, salt, and garlic. Yeah. 
and that would be the Call wuss the, sauce. The blue dove so, uh, seasoning? Yeah, the blue dove, the wuss sauce, no. or the blue dove so, seasoning. We could do something like that. The sissy seasoning. <laughs> right? Uh, I've been to the, a barbecue the joint. Shot they, had that, they had a hot, on their barbecue sauce, they had a hot, and they had a sissy sauce. Yeah. I think that's Rudy's that Maybe. does that. No, we could call it the the Shauna scale. Yeah. The Shauna, the Shauna five spice or something. Uh, Human slice said, "I wasn't crazy about the peach monster, especially after I read the label." Uh oh, what was on the label of the peach monster? I don't remember either. I already crushed the can and threw it out. Sharon said, "I used your Redmond's link for relight." Oh, thank you, Sharon. Awesome, thank you. Mango is my new go-to for these crazy hot days working yeah. outside. Oh, right? That's good that you're at least keeping that up. But, right. yeah, you like the mango oh, a lot. I, I like the triple berry. Uh, somebody said, yeah, you got to, like, if you were sitting up a little better. I know, but I'm comfortable. Um, da, 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 da. Shauna said, uh, so does that mean the person who makes the roadkill should have a I hit this animal at 2 p.m. sign? <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh, gosh. Um, Humor Slice said, nice. I'm new to it and was told I need to start at the beginning, so we'll be binging. Oh, Ooh. okay. Nice. I think that's about um, American Horror Stories. Um, Matreya said, nope, I've watched some, but I enjoyed the first season. Then I get bored partway through the rest. I did like Twisty the Clown. He just needs hugs. Uh-oh. I, uh... I tried watching it from the very beginning, and I was not impressed, so I never got in from the, any other season. I never, I've never watched any of it. Because I heard so much great things about it. It's like, all right, cool, I'll take a look. And then it was just bleh. I was I not a fan. Before Heath, I, like, rarely watched TV. I was just more of a gamer, so my free time I was playing, you know, games. Um, so I, and now we watch, but... It's like, if it wasn't something that we were both interested in, we generally don't watch it. But, we're supposed to be getting, what did we watch this week? Oh, was that this week, the Somewhere? Yeah. Someone Somewhere. That was really good. That was really good. I'm waiting what? for season two to come out. I don't know when it is. 23, I think. Yeah, but what platform? Oh. Uh, was it HBO Max? Yes. HBO Max, it's called Someone Somewhere yeah. with, um, what's her name, I Belinda? I don't remember. Let me pull it up. Yeah, let me I pull it up. I had it marked. Um, someone Somewhere. It's a comedy drama. Um, where is it? Where is oh, it? oh, there. Bridget Everett. Is the, uh, the main? Is the, well, her and Jeff Hiller are considered, like, the main characters. It was just, I find it really and cute. And it was only, like, a half hour each episode, too, yeah, so, so it was easy to get easy through. To get we, through. We, we, uh, we were going to watch it over two nights, but then there was only, like, one or two episodes left. We're like, well, that's fine. We'll go ahead. It's only another hour. So we watched yeah. the, we watched the whole season in one, one evening. Yes. It, yeah, it was really good. Like, we couldn't stop. But, um... Let me see if there's... Okay, it says, this is a recap of it. Sam, who's played by Bridget Everett, is a true Kansian on the surface. Struggles to fit her hometown's mold, grappling with loss and acceptance. Singing is her saving grace and leads her on a journey to discover herself and a community of outsiders who don't fit in and don't give up. So I thought it was really cute. Um, at first I was like, we were watching it and I was like, I don't know. This is like a really quirky, like it's very, very quirky and yeah. different. And it grows on you. Yeah. And I was like, okay, by the end of the second episode, I was like, okay, we're hooked. But it was really cute. I thought the actors were really good. Um, it, it just felt like a real show where it wasn't so much. Like, I guess what I liked about it is everybody isn't, like, perfect, right? Like, a lot of TV shows, you're like, oh, really? You're, you know, you're a teenager, but yet you're actually, the actor is 25 years old, like you know? Like, 21 Jump Street. Right, right. It's like, come on, these people aren't real. But in, um, 
that show, like, there's people of all different sizes and shapes and backgrounds. And I've, I've, it was just nice to me to see that, hey, you know, there's a, a nice spectrum of real looking people and not like actory looking people. Actoring. So, yeah, that's my new word. <laughs> actory. Yeah. And so I, I was just like, it, it just felt like we were watching like a friend's life kind yeah. of deal. Uh, Reichwitz here said, I think they allow people to keep the deer they hit in Georgia. No wow. signs. Oh, wow. Uh, goodness. Yeah, but then if they do that, I've, I've heard of people just going out and actually aiming for them then. Uh, Joe Ray said, I love lemon too. And they also had true lemon to my, and I also add true lemon to my lemon meringue keto chow. That's what I did too, Joe Ray. It was good. We still have, like, what, half that container? Uh -huh. uh, but Trey said, I don't remember. I did enjoy the first season, though. Okay. Sharon oh, wow. said, my hubs is the one who learned that trick with the creamy. Oh, wow. Well, we've been using it. With the water? Yeah. Humorous Life said, I'll be making batches of the Tazo uh, Passion Tea. Oh. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, Ready Set Keto said, we nuke our creamy for 30 seconds, then we do two spins of light ice cream and perfecto. Oh. That's good to know. So what I'm hearing is everybody needs to bring their creamies to Keto Palooza, <laughs> and we do a creamy off. Okay. Uh, Humorous Life said, an old co-worker used to get a Route 44 Cherry Dr. Uh -huh. Pepper and cheese sticks for breakfast every single uh -huh. day. Well, then I used to, uh, well, kind of wild story. I was dating a girl for a while. She was working at Sonic. So me and a buddy of mine would go up there almost every weekend to go hang out and see her. Well, he started talking to one of her coworkers, and they ended up getting married and having a kid together. But then when we would go up there and I would get my, I would get the Route 44 Cherry Dr. Pepper, She'd bring me also a small cup of nothing but cherries as well. Good thing you're not with her. Right? I helped you reverse your diabetes. Right, right. Not give you diabetes. Right. Um, yeah, but you used to, like, ever since we were together, you would you used to go through and get at least one Route 44 yeah. to start your day. Yeah. And sometimes you'd get one on the way home. Right, sometimes, yeah. Cause I love the Sonic ice. It's it's almost as good as the crushed ice from our ice maker. Not four hundred dollars though. No. That's no. how much one of those costs. No thanks. This this is good enough. <laughs> uh, Blue Dust said, "Yeah, the lemon does need punching up a bit. My half packet of Ultima lemonade worked pretty well. Oh, oh that's, that's a good, good idea. idea. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, which we could do the Ultima. We've got like the, the cherry pomegranate. Ooh. Mix that in with the lemon. That, or with the vanilla. Oh. Or even the chocolate. Yeah. Um, oh, thank you so much, Shauna. She shared Sharon's site. Thank you. Um, Atreya said it might have been uh, American Horror Story for the first season. Uh, Humorous Life said it was an episode that evolved like an Asian torture. Oh, my goodness. We're not going to get into that. Uh, Quilter in the Woods said just got a new creamy. You can use sources or recipes. For ice cream recipes, love anything lemon and love, love maple nut ice cream. Wow. Well, we're just using keto chow. Um, I don't know if you use keto chow. Um, so we're just going through and basically making keto chow, and then we just add whatever mixins we want. Um, but, ooh, a maple nut. So I we guess. Have a giant tub in the other room is full of keto chow. Yeah. This one is. We. It takes uh, forever, it's like 30, 40 minutes, whatever, to make it in the other uh, ice cream mix where we have our Cuisinart. Mm -hmm. We kind of just gave up on it. We only do it every once in a while. But now with the creamy, it's so much easier. And we have a, a basically an entire shelf now in the freezer dedicated to this pint. But I have another one of these flavors that's called maple. Oh. So I bet, yeah, remember when we did our sausage? Yeah. So I bet you can add that to like a... Um, I would say vanilla mm -hmm. or um, I'm trying to think what else would go well, like a, 
would the salted caramel maybe do well with some maple flavoring? Well, I was thinking too, hmm. when they, when you go to chow, uh, sausage soup, put that in there, that'd be good too. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, but I love lemon too. I'm right there. Humorous Slice said, love maple too. Oh, and the maple bacon bones coffee. Oh, that's right. The maple bones. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, you could do a maple bacon. So I wonder, should you do it in the vanilla? Or do you think using the keto chow chocolate, adding the maple flavoring, and then bacon bits? I'm just saying, that'd be good ice cream. Um, humorous ice. Shelly has lost a ton of inches. Don't let her be modest. I told you. I am modest. Shauna said, some with me inches are decreasing weight slowly, but I'll take it, right? And I'm still doing my uh, workouts twice a week. So I told my coach um, on Thursday, I said, it feels like I'm getting. Um, you didn't talk to him, then I don't, then I don't care to No, I was too busy. Um, but I said, I feel like I'm, like I'm um, getting stronger I mean, I've only been doing my weight workout for maybe a month. I don't know, something like that. I should have recorded the first date, but I've been doing it for about a month now. And I said, I feel like I'm getting stronger, but, um, you know, it, it's slow, right? It, you're not going to build muscles overnight, and, you know, it takes a long time. I guess I was just kind of like um, – a little bit inspired. This is so weird, y'all. I was on TikTok. I know, shocker. When you're new here, I get on TikTok. Yes, it does. And uh, there's this guy. I haven't heard of this, and I didn't even think I told you about it. But there's this thing where people are trying to walk on all fours. Why? <laughs> I don't know. But he was, like, showing. He's like, okay, day um, and, and Shauna, you're going to love this. He's, he records every day that he does it. So he's like, here is day 350 of me walking on all fours, right? And so I was Didn't like. Did he do that in the early parts of his life, though? Right. Well, that's what he's doing is showing how it, it helps build the upper body oh, okay. by walking. And so he does, he started that, and I went all the way back in his TikToks to find day one because I wanted to see side by side, right? And he first started as a seven-day challenge, but he would walk on all fours for a minute. And when he first did it, you know, he, he was doing it, right? Because he was fit then, okay? Let's be honest. A year ago, this guy was still a fit-looking person. He was already actively working out and just heard about this walking on all fours. Let me know if you've heard of this. So he started walking on all fours, and then now when he's done it for, you know, it's almost a year now that he's been doing this every single day for a minute, he walks on all fours. Now he started out walking, on standing up, and transitioned to all fours and started running like a freaking werewolf. He looked like in the werewolf movie. You know how you see the person, he turns to a werewolf, and he's like running that's how he looked. I was like, what the heck is this? Like, I Sounds see like some weird some stuff. <laughs> I see weird stuff on TikTok. But I was like, who is this guy? What is he doing? The internet's a dangerous place. <laughs> I know. But I was like, okay. That kind of inspired me because I was like, okay. Oh, okay. Because, bear with me here. Because it's like, okay, when I first started doing my, my weights and I'm following Frederick Hans concept. So Frederick Kahn, we heard about on the low carb cruise, what he says is you do what's called a slow burn. So when you're doing your weight training, instead of like when you're lifting weights with your arms, don't just be doing this number and do like, you know, 15 reps like they tell you. Instead, you do with the weight, but you do it where each rep takes 60 to 90 seconds. Now, I'm almost at, like, the 60-second. I don't know how to make it go slower to 90 seconds per rep. I mean, that just, like, I just don't go that slow. But I was like, okay, so I've been doing that. But when I was watching that guy, I was like, yeah, Shelly, you're not going to be able to tell or feel or even see something in a month 
or two months or three months. But if you look at something now and then in a year from now, you'll be able to see those noticeable changes. So you just have to be number one, consistent. And then number two, just keep doing it. And over time, you'll see the difference. So that's what I was making. When he first walked on all fours a year ago, he wasn't able to just straight out run on all fours. Good on you, brother. Right? Um, Renee said, since doing more weights, my weight actually hasn't gone down much, but my muscle mass and body fat has decreased. That's awesome. Uh, Quilter in the Woods said, I'm trying to get in the mindset of not watching the scale, but look at the inches. I said trying. And that's what's really hard is because uh, it gets in my mental head and I honestly will have issues with it. And I told my coach that from the beginning. I was like, I don't like weighing myself because it does affect me mentally so much that, hey, I could, I could lose inches in a week. And she's even pointed out, she's like, yeah, but you lost two inches. And I'm like, yeah, but the scale went up a pound. So I, in my mind, it's like, then I was a disaster. And she's like, no, like, don't, the scale is just there to kind of monitor where, you know, just as a, an extra thing to look at. She goes, but what really matters is your inch loss in the end. That's, you want to be a smaller person. You don't want to. Why would you want to weigh like 160 pounds, but you're still wearing 3X clothes? Like, no, you want to be a certain size. The weight doesn't matter. Like, that's what you should be aiming for is, okay, I want to be a smaller, fit, healthier person. Like, you want to be healthy and fit. Don't be thinking, like, like she was telling me, don't have the mindset of, I just want to be skinny. Because there's a lot of very unhealthy, skinny people. She goes, that isn't what you want. You want to be healthy and fit. And she's like, that's the difference you want to go for. And your mindset is, okay, I don't want to just be skinny and, and not be able to do anything and be frail and sickly and all that. No, you want to not only be healthy and your lab markers and so forth, but you want to be fit to where you can walk several miles in a day. You can lift weights. Um, you know, you've got muscles and stuff. She goes, that's what really matters. That's what you want to go for. And if that's what your goal is to be healthy and fit, then it doesn't matter what the scale says. And I'm like, okay, I get that. I get that. I try to tell myself that, but it's still a work in progress. Uh, Faith said, Heath, what is your favorite keto brick? Honestly, peanut butter. <laughs> she can't have. Right. Then after that, uh huh. Oof. I don't know. I can't pick a favorite, though, because they're all good. The maple pecan, I guess, next. Oh, the maple pecan is amazing. The so buttered yeah, maple pecan. Yeah. Before I figured out I was allergic to peanuts, it was the peanut butter one. Because that, to me, honestly, was even when I just cut it open and ate it just like as a brick, it, to me, it felt like I was eating fudge. Yeah, that peanut butter one is really good. It's the creamiest one they yeah. have. The mocha's pretty good. That's the one we melted tonight. Mm -hmm. The cookies and cream is good. Honestly, I have not tried any of them that I do not like. Yeah. Same thing with keto chow. Right. Right. I would I would say my absolute favorite is the butter maple pecan. That one is real good. <sighs> so good. Uh, Swong said, "Wow, forty inches is awesome. Thank you for being proof. It's not about the scale." Right. Well, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> but thank you. That's really nice of you to say. Uh, 22 Q Cat said, you both look amazing with your losses. Just look at your older videos and be proud of your better health. Oh, Aw, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, I was watching one of them earlier. I don't remember why. I was sharing it with somebody because they were asking for some kind of recipe. It was in one of my barbecue groups on Facebook. I was watching the video. And I think it was the Pork and Poultry Road, actually. I was still wearing a mask. Oh, not a mask, an not eye a patch. patch. Yeah. Right? Well, thank y'all. Quilter in the Woods said, yes, that is amazing. Aw, thanks, y'all. 
Reichman said, my body is doing the same thing to Shelly. Weight stalled, but inches are really down, uh -huh. and all my blood work is normal now except LDL, which I don't count. Right? Yeah. That's... It's just still hard, right? When you do the labs and you're like, oh, they look good, but then you're like, I just want more. What was it we were watching earlier? Uh, Ready, set, keto. He said, she said yeah. her doctor told her to quit keto and do the Mediterranean. Right. And she basically just laughed at him. I thought it yeah, was Yeah, awesome. to eat more vegetables. Even though her labs were good, Yeah. he just he just still feels... It's just weird, isn't it? The, so I guess that's the way they were taught. Right. Well, like the one doctor I saw before, like all my... Like at first she was like, well, because uh, I, I think the total number was high. Uh-huh. But when you plug in, because she uses something where you have to plug in Some logarithm. all the numbers to see what your actual ratio is. And because at first she was like, oh, my gosh, what do you eat a lot of? And I'm like, oh, mostly red meat. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You, you need to cut down on that. She goes, well, let's see what your ratio is. My ratio, it was on a scale of one to five. And she's like, da, da, da. oh, your ratio is a one. Well... I mean, it's good for now, uh -huh. but, you know, you might want to start cut back on the red meat. And I'm like, but the red meat would not be healthy. Right. She's like, oh, you, you know, you really, really probably don't want to be doing too much red meat. Okay. It's the best thing for you, but you don't be eating that. I know. I was like, okay, sure, sure. Just give me my lab results. Shauna said, I was shocked when I saw the pics. I had posted them myself last year at KPL with Autumn. And then June with my nieces. I was super happy. I know. Isn't that amazing? Right. Uh, Humor Slice said, does anyone know if Food Network is available on other platforms besides cable? Thinking of canceling cable and just using apps like Hulu, Netflix, Apple TV. I think uh, I think there's a couple of them to do them on YouTube as well. You can watch older mm. episodes. Yeah. I think. But I don't know if, if Food uh, Network. Well, what you have to do. Is go to the website for the shows you like and like basically Google them and then see sometimes the list on the website. Say it was like, you know, uh, what was the one Guy Fieri's? Um, Triple D. It was like Triple D, one of those. I think I, I've done it in the past, I, if I remember correctly. You can go in there and it'll tell you other ways of watching them and other uh, platforms that they carry them on. Right. Uh, Sharon said, my current stalls due to sleep apnea. My sleep pattern is terrible. Well, see, that might be yours because you have that as well. Well, I don't know. I know. I just think. You haven't been retested either, though. No, I haven't. But I just think it's a lot of my body mm -hmm. has been overweight my whole life. And I lost weight pretty quick at the beginning. And I think my body's just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going danger, on? Danger, danger, danger. Right. Like, we're not used to you being thinner. Uh, Shauna said, I feel so fortunate to have Hungry Heat, the 2KK, Keto Chow, and a few others helping me learn the good ingredients. Mm -hmm. Aw, you're Thank so you. awesome. Joe Ray said, Honestly, yes. Honestly, it's trial and error for us, too. Yeah. She said, the tortillas were right by the monster booth. They didn't even taste good, either. I, oh. I didn't even bother. They had canola oil in them. Yeah. And you know what's weird is because on KetoCon's site, they say that they proof the ingredients first. Maybe they snuck it in after? Well, I don't know because they've always said that, that they make sure everybody who's selling anything is, is keto approved. And I'm like, but when I even stuff, people, vendors I saw in 2019, I was like, really? Though They were okay to get in and they had sugar in their food. And I was like, so how did they get around that if they supposedly have to submit their ingredients, right? Well, what's those two delivery ones? We, we started for a little while. It's Keto Crate and what's the other one? Keto Box. Box. We have both, um, which one was it we did for about two months and then we stopped? The Keto Crate. Because we look, we watch all the videos on everybody's doing the reviews on them and, you know, the monthlies. There's so many products in there we, we just don't even want. So to us, it's not yeah. worth it. Well, this was like three years ago yeah. when we did it. And because uh, I was then. like, oh, okay, well, you know, because he was still on the I have to have my snacks. So I had ordered I that. I ordered that thinking, okay, we'll do it. Well, then half the box, I was like, well, I don't want to eat that or that or. Yeah. 
or it just didn't sound good. So then we noticed like the second one, we still had like half the stuff left from the first box. So we just were like, okay, we're just going to cancel this. <laughs> and we just didn't go back. And then now all I have to do is just enjoy watching everybody who does the reviews on them. Because then I'm like, oh, that's why I don't do it. <laughs> well, I love watching, uh, I love watching Matreas. He's like, nope, nope, nope. I know, nope. I love it. Not, nope, nope. Yes, nope. if you want somebody who's going to be brutally honest with their opinions, go watch Radical Geek when she does the keto crate. Because she'll be like, mm -mm. no, like that's horrible. <laughs> Sometimes she gets fighting mad about it too. I love it. Right. That's so awesome. Uh, Renee said, okay, thanks, y'all. I'll be canceling in a few days because contract almost up and went from 50 to 70 to 100. Oh, no, I would oh, not be paying cable? for cable. Uh -uh. Uh, Jamie said, yes, my cable price gouged me $40. They are just going to lose more customers You know that what was way. awesome about our cable? Yeah. Right outside by our driveway, we caught them one day. We just happened, like, they were out there working on something. We didn't know what it was. They are actually digging in to give us... Um, the internet what was it the uh, the fiber the fiber yeah so we switched over to the fiber our bill went down and they gave us hbo max for free but then they sent me an email this week they oh. said that they're gonna have to raise the prices five dollars but to make up for it if you sign up for paperless which i already do then they're going to give you a five dollar discount wait wait what <laughs> yeah okay uh, Quilter in the Woods said, oh my, humorous. Yeah, I just get the ones I'm interested in watching. Lots of other things on Discovery Plus. Magnolia, right. HGTV, Crime, etc. Oh, goodness, the crime oh. shows. I just realized today, so I have the Amazon Music. Oh, yeah. Because I connect it to my um, Alexa, the Echo, and I play music during the day, and I made a playlist and all. But I've been noticing, and I feel like on my playlist, I have enough songs on there that I shouldn't have to hear the same songs every day. But I feel like I hear the same yeah. songs every day. So I'm like, Alexa, you're not very good at shuffling. Right. But um, I noticed today I can also listen to podcasts uh -huh. on my Amazon Music app. Well, remember when we tried doing that on one of the road trips? We tried doing the shuffle thing, and it just kept going back to Johnny Cash every time. Well, that it was, was – <laughs> It was a new song, but it's still Johnny Cash every time. But that was because you downloaded, like, 500 of his songs. Well, I know. <laughs> it's like skewed the numbers, yeah. like every other song. I and grabbed, like, every album he ever made. Uh, I, found a, I found a thing I could get them all. Don't do that. <laughs> so it was like Johnny Cash, all Johnny Cash, all day. Um, Joe Ray said, there's someone that makes creamy koozies. I need to find that link. That's oh, Sharon. That's Sharon who made our, uh, yes. she made our, uh, that made the uh, aprons. Yes. yes it's Sharon, uh, oh, good. Sharon told her. Oh, good. Haley's here. Hey, hey. Haley. How are you? Howdy. She said, hi, all. Sorry I'm late. No, I have a weird fine. question. Is it normal to crave butter? Am no. I not getting enough fats? I literally Possibly. crave eating just butter. Remember, you were doing that for a while and you were freezing it and salting it. Yeah, I will freeze Slice it, it and then salt it and, and it. And um, snack on it. Kind of. But maybe, I mean, maybe figure out how much butter you're getting in yeah. a day, but our fats, rather. I mean, it very well could be that that's, your body's like, no, I need more fats. Right. Um, but you know, I remember my niece when she was a child, a little baby, I guess not a little baby. She's old enough to eat. I don't know these ages, but anyways, she would always eat butter raw too. Mm -hmm. And it was probably the same thing because her mom was always like, oh, low fat, everything. Uh -huh. That was probably her saying, I need more fat right. and would just eat the butter. Like you turned around, that child was grabbing butter and just eating butter. And of course, back then we were like, oh my gosh, it's so bad. They didn't know. Uh, That's but why I maybe. love that book from Dr. Barry. Lies my doctor taught, told me. Right? It's like perfect. Because I also feel like um, like they were saying on Keto Chow this week, if, if certain things like magnesium or salt taste good to you, that means your body needs more of it. Right. So maybe just eat enough butter and see what happens. I mean, it's not going to be bad for you. Um, Renee said he used to go on about how broccoli wasn't even a natural vegetable. It's not. <laughs> it's a contrived.
surprised. It doesn't occur uh, her naturally on its own. We have to make it. Occur. <laughs> I'm not wrong. Somebody he, tricked me with her wizardry. I know. He actually, y'all, can I say this? Yeah. But you. Okay. So he actually, when I said, okay, just, I, I, you know, made my broccoli. And he's like, well... All right, I'll take a bite. So I found the smallest little broccoli because I was like, I'm not going to waste my dish on him. So I gave it to him, and he tasted it, and he flicked me off. And I was like, are you flicking me off because it's bad or it's good? He said, because it's good. <laughs> he was so bad. I was like, I was making sense. Broccoli's disgusting. Um, Quilter of the Woods wanted to know, and also Shauna wanted to know, what concoction I was making. So, I'm sorry. That was the keto brick. I melted it. Uh, so, get one of the keto bricks. This is the, this is the one you did? Yeah. So, here's the keto brick. We get these from keto brick. Live Savage or Keto Brick. Live Savage. Live Savage. You said Live Savage. Live Savage. Um, but this is, they make these keto bricks so it's like he calls it the perfect keto macros so it's mostly a, a fat base it's got protein and then a whole bar like this whole bar is they I do videos read. also they have a youtube channel it's called live savage and every wednesday 5 p.m it's 5 p.m central for us when that goes on mm -hmm. they do uh their own show uh, live like this, they call it live at five. It's every Wednesday at five p.m. And they'll ask, you can ask him questions about different things. And he is a uh, a bodybuilder also, and she is a an aspiring bodybuilder, and she just had a baby, and they're both totally keto. Yeah. Um. So this one brick, it says is it, I think I can read it. It looks like eighteen total carbs, but I know so, most of them are like twelve. And if I remember correctly, they're going to KPL too, aren't they? Yeah, they'll be at KPL. He'll be speaking. Yeah. Um, and he's very, very personable. If you walk up to him, and you know, if you've seen him in person right there, he's like just everyday Joe. He's awesome. Yeah, he's very, he's very nice. personable. All right, let me. This is what I have to do. This my yeah. eye doctor says it's called forties. <laughs> okay. So I'm sorry. It's sixteen total carbs. 31 protein and 90 fat for the whole bar. If you ate the whole thing. I've done it. And you just yeah. feel it. It's very And it's 1,000 calories if but you if, care about if that. You, if you eat it like that, they treat, he says it's treated like a meal replacer. Yeah. But I love, you saw us melting it down a minute ago. I treat it as an after dinner mint, basically. Yeah. So well, we, every once in a while, when I'm blowing out brain, I'll go through the kitchen. I'll just stop by and grab one and keep on walking. So we nice get snack. like between 18 and 21 pucks out of that. So each puck is less than a total carb. Yeah. So for if you need a treat, like an after meal treat, to me that's good. You know it's going to be good ingredients. It's less than one total carb. And it, it's just the right amount to where you have that like after dinner mint without having like a huge dessert right and it's not to me i feel like keto bricks they're tasty but they're not they're addictive. not yeah they're not addictive like some uh things like the built bars or some of the others they're they're too tasty to where you like an actual candy bar uh, right well, right that's how you feel when you're eating them anyways well you feel like you know you can't just stop with right. one right but i feel like the keto bars Keto or bricks. keto bricks, sorry, the keto bricks are good enough to where it satisfies you, but it doesn't cause a craving, right. if that makes sense. And he's a freaking genius. Yeah, so you just have the one, and and that's perfect to me. Um, let's see here. Da, 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 da. To use in what? Well, I actually don't use it. Uh, she wanted to know, do, what do we use it? We just have it like that, just a, a little. We just pop it out of there and eat it as just our treat after dinner. Um, so I think we still have some left. 
Yeah, you could add them to the coffee as well. Oh, you've never had a keto break. Well, you'll have to um, look it up or... Because uh, look, when they pop out, I'll put them in a baggie. And we only have this one left. This is what size they are. You have to go way up. There you go. There, right over my face. There you go. That's what size it is. And that's less than one total carb. And that, to me, that's enough if you, like, we were always so used to having a sweet treat after our meal. It is hard to break that. So this is just a way of kind of still quelching that kind of craving of, okay, I've eaten, now I want a little something. Then that's just the one bite enough to do it. Right. Um, oh, there we go. Reichwood said... Uh, Robert Sykes Natural Bodybuilder. Yes. That's right. Lots of flavors. I think there's like five main flavors. So he's got the mocha, uh -huh. cookies of cream, a coconut almond, uh -huh. the, uh, the, peanut the peanut butter, a chocolate peanut butter. Uh -huh. Um. Coconut paste. When all the other ones uh, are nootropics and all that stuff are all just... Yeah. Uh, that, I think those are the five main flavors, and then he'll do seasonal flavors, like the maple butter pecan, so good. That one, usually, he'll release in the fall. And then, like, the there was the one that we also tried called Nootropic. Um, that's when it's got, like, this mushroom stuff in it. Well, really good. I think that one's already sold out, so that was, like, the spring flavor. Um, so yeah, so he, he does, you know, come up with new flavors. You just go and follow Keto Brick, um, on Lit, any. You know, like on Instagram, go look for Liv Savage mm -hmm. or Lady Savage. That's his wife. But I think they do a podcast too, don't they? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah. So they, um, they're just, um, it's good. So if you follow them, you'll find out if they make a new flavor and when right. it will be released and everything. Brenda says she wants to try one of those bricks. It's way good. Yeah, you got to do that. Well, if you're at, if you're ever at a convention and they are there, they're always giving away samples. Yeah. Like, like well, he's going to be at KPL. So, so they'll, they'll have, have samples. samples and they're about the same size. Well, they take up the whole one cut it up, don't they? Yeah. They don't actually make puffs. They just break yeah, it up. they just break it up. Yeah. Shada said, he ate something green besides peppers? I like, I like, uh, I've always liked salad. Um, <laughs> Quilter in the Woods said, okay, so how does the keto brick taste? Um. Some people so, say it's too salty. I like adding salt to mine. Yeah. So it's all just. It's it is considered traditional keto, so yeah. like they're very in. Hey, keto is high fat, moderate protein, yeah. low carbs, and right? They're very strict with their keto. Yeah. You never hear them having cheat days. Oh no. Um. So I think. Um, because you, he is a professional bodybuilder. Right. So I would say, if you're new to keto, it's probably going to taste too salty. If you've been keto a while then it's not going to be that salty tasting. But some of the flavors are a little chalky. Yeah. Like I would say the mocha sometimes can come across chalky. I would say the um, cookies and cream and the coconut almond are grittier yeah. because they've actually got like – Nuts. cookies or the coconut in them yeah. so it's gonna be a grittier texture More yeah the peanut butter is like fudge yeah. it's very creamy now the only thing you're gonna have to worry about is it that does come look like a brick uh-huh but if it sits depends on what the weather is like when it gets delivered or how it sits in the truck getting to you it may melt a little bit Mm -hmm. So they told us the best thing you can do when you get them, if they are melted, just put them in the fridge. Yeah. The form, the they may change shape a little bit, but the, it's not going to adjust the, it's not going to affect the flavor though. Yeah, you see, we melt them down. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the the peanut butter is the fudgiest consistency, yeah. the creamiest. 
And then I would say the maple butter pecan is also creamy, but it's got it's got that kind of, if you remember Butterfinger, how it would kind of stick to your teeth. It kind of does that a little bit on that one. Um, it's another reason why I like the puff better. Yeah. And, yeah, um, I used to do them in a different size, too, but this one we use now is, like, perfect. Yeah, this one's perfect. Because, um, yeah, if you remember the other tray, Renee I really said, had a fight with it to get them out. They're, actually, they don't do discounts. So, no. um, Keto Break doesn't do discounts, doesn't give out discount codes. I think the only discount you get is when mm -hmm. you buy in bulk. When you buy bigger, yes. you but there's not an additional discount code. Right. So it's right. uh, basically mm -hmm. one brick, I think, is like $12. Right. But if you buy a week, two weeks, or a month's worth, then you're going to get them down lower right. the more you buy, of course. So, um, but yeah, there's no discount codes. Robert just is like, I'm already doing it at bare bones. Yeah, at bare bones. Like, he I really can't. Jack the price up, so right. he's selling, selling it to you fairly cheap. Yes. I mean, if you go watch their uh, their YouTube and watch all their stories too about how they started and what they went through to build mm -hmm. the company, it's kind of inspires inspiring. It is. Uh, Renee they were living in their van. Oh yeah, Renee said, "Sounds like a cake a friend used to make her hubby with limoncello and fresh blueberries." Ooh, wow. Good. Okay, Quilter's heard of them, but she's just never tried them. Well, if you ever go to any keto convention they're usually there. there with samples yes. uh shot said i don't see keto brick discount no they're not they, they don't do one yeah i've never heard only time he's ever done it was when he's doing the brick by brick thing yeah and that was it that was just that one that time was a one time thing uh renee said love that sauce and i don't usually like a sweet heat uh. <laughs> quilter in the wood said heath you are nutty about those hot sauces aren't you Woo! Just too hot for me. I would have literally disintegrate. <laughs> uh, you haven't seen our uh, wall of flame, have you? Uh, Jerry's here. Hey, Jerry and Patty. Yeah, Jerry. I'm still waiting on that package. <laughs> oh, no. Good evening, Horn. Just got back after taking Patty clothes shopping at oh. Torrid oh. and then a delicious gluten-free dinner. Oh, that nice. sounds nice. Shauna said, did y'all see he claim that creamy? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. Claim it. Uh, Renee said, Heath, you've been rationed. <laughs> uh, Reichman said, very small company. They do all in-house. Look up Keto Savage and Lady Savage yes. if you want to learn more. Y'all yeah. are so awesome. Very, they're very uh, good, cool people, too. And they just had a baby. That, uh, yeah, Blue Dove said that was like licking the whole thing, huh? When you spilled your no, hot no. sauce. Uh, it's not that hot. Uh, oh, okay. There we go. She shared that. I need to put one of those stoppers on the top of this, though. Oh, awesome. Room. Quilter of the Woods said, well, better get Horde. Hope to be in more in the future. Oh, I hope you yeah. do, too. Shauna said, not yet. Oh, I might try that tomorrow. I'm making dinner at my friend's tomorrow. Oh, how nice. Good night, Susan. Good night. Uh, Sharon, uh, Shauna said, although we'll have to make do with the rebel ice cream she has, I'm waiting for Sharon to perfect my creamy carrier. Oh, oh wow. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Everybody saying hello back and forth. Oh, thanks. Shauna shared the keto event. Swamp said, that meaty, meaty pizza sounds delicious. It was that amazing. was amazing. We need to make that again soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see here. See, maybe that'll help. Oh, there you go. See, y'all, maybe I'm just weird, but the little plastic stoppers on the end of these hot sauce, I save these when the, bottle, when the bottle's empty, and I save them so I can add them to ones like this one. Yeah, that's not why you're weird, though. Hey, what? You said, am I weird? Oh, whatever. Shauna said, yeah, y'all met my keto twin and then introduced us at KPL. That's right. Oh, that's right. Oh, here we go. Susan said, the fundraisers at Keto Omaha are for guitars for vets. Oh. Helps vets with PTSD okay. 
and um, an organization that deals with homeless vets. Oh, oh wow. Cool. And then Caboodle Bry is doing the 50 mile march and has the donation link. Oh, awesome. Oh, nice. Did he, did he, he I be wish, able to add yeah, it? Yeah, Brian in here. Uh, Shauna said, Heath, you need to lean up. You are stifling your mic. <laughs> I got it right here. Look at that. Oh, it got twisted and turned around. So he said, oh my God, Shelly got possessed. I got her voice anyways. Uh-oh. What? Uh, Joe Dale said, hey, you guys still on? I had to go to the barn to feed the horses. Put them down for the night. Oh, oh wow. wow. I did That's that for cool. a while, too, as a job in high school, and that was not fun. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda said, I'm out for tonight. Have a good, good weekend. Night. You too, Brenda. Thanks for stopping. So, uh, do Renee... you have to work tomorrow, then? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Renee said, Samson wanted so bad to do zoomies with Navarra. Right? I know. He was like, let's do some zoomies. We're going to have to put them out here in a minute, love them. Yes. Jodell said, you guys make spices. We sure do. We make all kinds of spices. We do put the recipes out there for free, so yeah. anybody can make them. I have the dehydrator loaded right now. I'm going to turn it off in the morning, let it chill out while we go restock. Yeah. Buy new peppers. Uh, Blue Dove said, woof sauce, woof. Uh, Shauna said, Shauna, five spiceless. Uh, it's just salt. <laughs> uh, right now, we uh, that's a good question, Joe. I want to know how we order. We technically can't sell our spices because we're in Texas with the cottage laws. What we do is if you make a donation to the channel, then you can email us. If you become and a then member. Yeah, or a channel member, then we'll send you a welcome package. Um, that's what we're doing right now. Uh, now, we do have plans with uh, Ketapalooza that we'll bring some there to, you know, to, if it if people want to buy some in person. Because we could sell in person, just not well, I was over. I thought they were sitting right here. I was going to show them with size two containers. Uh, I thought they were behind me. They're on the chair behind me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because what size is this? That's the four ounce. So that's that's what we're going to be using. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if I can show it to them without actually opening it. Yeah, this size, these bottles, these are four ounce spice jars. Yeah. So and we're, that's. We're going to make enough to fill this whole pack and bring them with us. Should we order another one? We might because I know right okay. now we've got sold. eight of these sold okay. that we have to fill so this two weekend. More. Two more. Two more. Well. Okay. Uh, Sha uh, Renee said it could be called the Auntie Spice. Ah, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, she said you can hit the little dollar sign, send them a little super chat, then send them in an email. Hungry Heath, for your name and address for samples. If you want larger, make a bigger super chat. Thank you. Sorry, just trying to front face it. Little so oh, okay. I would like to still drink it, dear. <laughs> Jamie said uh, I still want to be gaming again, but I just can't find the time. I used to lock in for hours, and it hardly feels worth it. A few minutes here and there. I know. I feel, yeah, you can't, or at least the games I always played, you need. An all-day thing. You, you well, you need two or three hours. Yeah. You, it, getting in for even 30 minutes or an hour is just not enough. Because, like, when I used to play poker, too, the games I really liked was, like, uh -huh. a four-hour. I had to lock away four hours to play one game. Yes. And it was just 90 people. And it, I, I used to love tournaments. So I used to... He said, okay, so that's how I'll get a boyfriend. Go out and hit one so I can keep him. Wow. <laughs> isn't that, isn't there a movie about that? Well, you know what it is? <laughs> she needs your rat. She needs your towel. Oh, yeah. I've done some Halloween shopping. So if you're new here, I love Halloween. And I came across this on Etsy. And one of my best pickup lines. I had to get it because I'm like, oh, my gosh. So this is our newest Halloween towel. Here, wait. Isn't 
that adorable? Does this towel smell like chloroform to you? And then look at the little poison bottle. So poison, it's potion. It has the skull and bones. Uh, so whenever Heath used to tell people how we got married how is, uh, yeah, well, not how we met, how we got married, uh-huh. is you said, yeah, I just handed her this towel and said, hey, does it smell like chloroform? And then I woke up and we we're married. Uh-huh. So when I saw that towel, I was, I was like, 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 yes, I got to get it. I got to get it. Because he's told everybody that joke. He's like, oh, that's what I asked her. Shada said, we all say it was the ice, but y'all know it was the sweet tea. (laughs) Oh, wow. Jodell owns a horse farm. Wow. Wow, That's awesome. I worked for one for, I don't know, about three or four months. And they let me go because they said they wanted somebody uh, with more training and more at ease with the animals. (laughs) And all I did was clean out the, the hay and the stuff. (laughs) <laughs> That's all I did. They want to be somebody to actually work with the horse. I'm like, yeah, I ain't you, that ain't that ain't me. Not the kid. <laughs> no. And I used to tell people I'm outdoors and I like getting that I like getting drunk on the porch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Shauna said on Facebook there is a keto ice cream in the Ninja uh, Creamy group. Oh, there you go. I think there's a group for everything on Facebook now, isn't there? Yes. Uh, Sharon said, Steve from Sirius Keto have an excellent lemon sorbet. Oh, wow. Yeah, it has a sorbet button on it. Oh, yeah. That sounds good. Uh, Renee said, I've heard of people like this. So weird. Reminds me of something you'd see in a horror movie on all fours. Yes. Yes. When I saw that, because that was the first time it came up in my feed, and and it was like day 350, and I was like, what is this? Like, I was th- What's thinking, wrong with that boy? I know, at first I was like, is he like, like I thought, oh, he's playing a werewolf in a movie, because that's what it looked like, or he's prepared for Halloween, but no, this was something he just wanted to do on his own. Like I said, he just needs more hobbies. I was like, oh my gosh. Uh... Jodell said, my training and his is about the same. And then Shauna said, okay, I think I've learned to like sparkling water. Wow. Oh. Jamie said, I apparently suck at taking measurements. When I was tracking that, it seemed like I was gaining inches. What? It is something you have to like. I, I do it to where like I remember exactly where it is. But you've also gotten three or four different tape measures because they keep breaking on you. I know. They do break you after a while. You spend money and get an actual good tailored tape. I don't want to spend money well, on that. An investment. But yeah, I have to figure out a place that, like if there's a beauty mark on my leg or something that I'm like, okay, that's where I always have to put the tape in that same area. Um, Jamie said... Oh, okay, I read that one. Shauna said, sit up, Heath. Pretend like you want to be here. I do. Okay, here's the thing. When I really want to be somewhere, you'll know it because I get comfortable. <laughs> if I'm not, if I don't look comfortable, I'm tense and I'm, I'm being a... Jamie said, scale is moving slowly again at 3 to 1 fat to protein. Hopefully my DEXA scan will be a good baseline for future changes. Wow, that's awesome, Jamie. Um, and Sean wants to know where your mic is at. Right here. Okay. Is that good? Or does I need to hold it? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Shana said, Keto approved by whom? I don't know. So if you go to KetoCon's website, they have a thing on there where they're like, okay, if you we make sure none of the vendors can't have any of these ingredients in their food. And I swear, when I saw the list, I looked it up before, but when I saw the list, I know if there are people that have some of those ingredients, so I was just kind of like, are they, though? How strict are they? Yeah. How, 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 how much do they actually check? Jamie said, so did the shirts with the patented technology got through because they were sugar-free? What a joke that was. What are who vetted them? Who said that? 
Um, Jamie, right. you know what? I think, um, honestly, I feel like they were kind of hurt for vendors because so many vendors kind of, yeah, tapped out that, you know, they were like, okay, yeah, we'll get them in. But I was hearing somebody, I was listening to somebody today and they were complaining. Oh, somebody again was complaining about the, the comma palooza here in Houston. They said that they were really mad about the vendors because most, like they said that there was only one, um, I, and I don't even know all these terms. I don't know if is still in here, but they were like, there was only one mag, magma, um, sure. one magma, um, magna, I don't know how you say this stuff, but there was only one of those vendors one comic book vendor and something else. And then he says, then there was all this stuff like home improvement and, you know, things like that. So like, it being like a swap meet kind of thing? Well, no, you know, I've been to some things like this. What it is, is, you know, have you've gone to somewhere, it'll be like, uh, you know, at Costco, when you're walking out, they'll, hey, we get you better window blinds or right. electricity. Sometimes those same companies we'll will, go will go to different conventions because they're like, oh, because I've been to the rodeo before uh -huh. and there was like an electric company there trying to get you to sign up for their electric. I remember the one time we went to the farmer's market and it had um, David Buster's there. Right. And just things like that where you're like, this isn't. One of these things is not... Right. Well, other. he was saying at Comapalooza this year the same thing? that most of the booths weren't related to the comic book genre. Like, that's what he was saying, that there was too many uh, electric companies, uh, window companies, home improvement companies. Wow. Remember even when we did that foodie? Yes. Remember the Taste of the Town? They would have booths like that, too. Yeah. And you're like, why, why are you here trying to sell electricity right or solar panels or whatever. solar panels yeah and apparently that they had a yeah. lot of vendors that did that because there for a while we would always once a year we'd go to this thing up near the woodlands they called it the taste of the town and all these different restaurants it was billed as a restaurant uh expo or whatever so they would mm -hmm. you'd go there try their different foods they give you coupons and whatnot that if you come to their restaurant but like she was saying they would have all these other non-sequestered stuff there also it was kind of weird. Yeah. It was like, no, I, I, in my mind at the time, I was like, well, that's one less booth. I got to try food. At. Right. Now, but you're saying they were doing this at the comic? Booth? Yes. Uh, that's what he was complaining because wow. he was like, there was only one of the manga vendors. And he's like, that, that's not, that's not a good representation. Wow. And, um, and so, yeah, he was just, but he, my thing is, I try to take things with a grain of salt. That guy was already angry about Kamapalooza two months ago. Uh, so he was not going to be happy no matter what. Him too. Right. Jamie said, eat the butter. I'm making butter and cream cheese fat bombs tonight. Oh, nice. that sounds good. Jodell says, okay, time, uh, guys, time to go up at 5 a.m. Uh, wow. Night. Have a good so night. Much. Thanks for joining us. Yes, I understand you. Good night. Sharon said, okay, y'all, I'm wiped out and have another day of rocks and blocks tomorrow. I'm headed for the pillow. Have a good night. Right, you too, do. Sharon. We're, Thank we're not you. Too far behind you. Right? Because I still got to run everything out to the street for trash pickup tomorrow. Yeah. Shauna said the concoction I was talking about was the recipe you were talking about. Oh, no. I don't even remember that. Mm. Uh, Shauna said, note to self, bring extra money for KPL keto bricks, right? Yes. Um,. Did it jump? Oh, and chocolate malt is another keto break. That's oh, good. that's right. That was good, too. Um, as far as I know, Strom says when Nootropic only one time, I, it was just a one time that I'm aware of, but who knows if they'll release it again, right? Uh, Jamie said, so glad I got plenty of the Nootropic. I love those. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah. Um... Oh, wow. Renee says she found the Epic Bars are too salty. Huh. Haley said, I'm considering Keto Brick. Which flavor is the best? Wow. Um, if you like peanuts or peanut butter, get the peanut butter one. That was the flavor.
before I found out I was allergic to peanuts, that was my favorite. Yeah. I would say the peanut butter. Yeah. Um, the chocolate malt's good. I yeah. like Krispy Kreme. Or the chocolate peanut butter. I like, yeah, I like that one too. Just go with whatever you think is a good flavor. Or get their variety pack. They yeah. sell a variety bundle. Maybe do that and then you decide which one's your, your favorite. Uh, Renee said, are we using different mics? No, this is the new mics we used last week. We've not learned how to use them yet. Yeah. These are the new mics I bought, which everybody said last week that it sounded a, a whole lot better than it used to. But we didn't charge them like we did last time. Yeah, we didn't charge User them. User error on our part. Um, but they what are new mics. Uh, what I liked about them is it, it seems, one, it's a USB, so it just plugs right in. The other one that we had, it had to go through a... Um, a mic, and I think it just never, the computer would never recognize them, and I think because the jack on the co laptop would not recognize that that was a speaker. Yeah. So I needed a USB plug-in uh, mics, and that's what these are, and they're supposed to have better range, so I figured this would be better for when, um, you know, we're doing stuff, but I am still learning. Yeah. Um, and then she, and Renee said, what's everyone's big weekend plans? And Shauna said she's going to go shopping and lunch with some friends. That'll be fun. Um, I know. What? Sh Shauna said some of the comments are read so late that the context is gone. Oh, Jerry sorry. said he had the Texas Five Spice on his cheeseburger leftovers at lunch and dusted on the extra... Uh, Brad D. Luscious. It's amazing. Thank you, sir. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Renee says she needs that towel. Right? And Shada said, wasn't that Heat's proposal line? Exactly. Exactly. Ten years later, still working. I hear Rosie now. Uh, okay. Renee said, I need a cost of ideas for Billy in the interim till Halloween. Well, he can't just be in the Halloween already. I'm already Put decorating. Um, I don't know. Did Can you it, hear Rosie? Yeah, I hear Rosie. Because remember we lost her. We didn't know. Where she, no, no, I put her down. That's what I found. I put her on the charger. You put her down. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe something summery. Put a little skirt on him. Put maybe uh, Hawaiian style. Do you have a Hawaiian shirt? That'd be cute. Why would I turn that light off? Did we need it? I guess not. We're just sitting in the dark now. Renee said, still haven't put him back in the car since KetoCon. Oh no, poor Billy. He thinks you don't love him anymore. Is Jamie really said, oh, that towel's perfect for y'all. Did it help? <laughs> yes, that looks better. Uh, good night, Haley. Thanks night. for joining us. Have a great weekend. See you next week. Yeah, and Jamie said ma manga. Manga? Manga? I sure. don't know. And then Jerry said good night, y'all. Have night. a blessed weekend. You too, Jerry. And See Patty. Every Sunday on Coffee Talk. Uh, Renee said we have actually had a few gluten free food trucks and pop ups open recently here. Many of our food trucks also advertise keto or low carb options. Nice. How exciting! That's awesome. Oh, is it Patty's birthday? Did I miss oh, that? Sorry. Oh, happy birthday, Patty. Yeah, tell her happy birthday for us. Shauna said, when you actually talk into them, it's much better. Oh, when we talk into better. them. Or yes. Talk if you talk into it, we have to talk. Renee said, when y'all held up, it sounded better, but just sounds so low this week, and Heath has been so hard to hear all night. Oh. Sorry for being a broken record. I want, oh, yours died again. Oh, that's, well, that's what probably it was. part of it. All right. Or you turned it off. I didn't turn it off. Yeah, it died again. Okay. It wasn't fully charged. No. Yeah, we'll call it a night here. Okay. Like I said, we'll make sure we plug it in Thursday night. Yeah, we'll make sure we plug them in again. Um, is I could totally decorate for Halloween. I would totally decorate for Halloween. Well, our house is still half decorated for Halloween. Yeah. In fact, 
our headless horseman is still in my office and when i my headless horseman is still in our in my office and when i'm on uh camera on my uh, from a job they make us get on camera and they make us get on camera for our meetings and they sh- my wife my, my wife my boss stopped the meeting and said heath what is that behind you get up and show us move your camera so we can see all of it and tell us all about it and we have a headless horseman we got last year for halloween and it's a pain to t- take him apart and try and put him back in the box so i left him and it's upright the whole the whole thing still all put together and i just put him in my office behind me because he's he's out of the way yeah and they were really impressed with it so i wonder what we're gonna get i wonder what we're gonna get this year more plates um i really want the inferno the pumpkin inferno yeah, but I, it sold out in like five minutes or whatever. I know but they'll release it again i did order some stuff from uh bath and body works they released their halloween this past monday and they just shipped it out today so when i get the bath and body works halloween box in i will do a tiktok unboxing on it if you want to look me up on tiktok um yeah renee said maybe she'll do halloween now and switch out costumes you should and then shauna said funny how it works when you talk into the mic it works and then they said sorry we love you guys good night purple love and honest good night y'all have a good weekend you too debbie uh shauna said my room is decorated as a natural disaster (laughs) (laughs) Lately. <laughs> and Shauna said, I'm working on something 3D paper esque for y'all and Renee. Oh, what's that? Uh, Renee said, Laugh out, you know laugh my butt off. She's going to wrap up a roll of a ball of, of, of you know, just paper and throw it at Say, Look, it's 3D. <laughs> uh, Renee said, They do have some new Halloween fiesta coming where did you see it yet or is it just on the word is it just on the street have you seen photos pictures or it didn't happen i know i gotta see the photos um oh my gosh i'm so excited so i'm hearing it for having guests the halloween show right i don't know are we uh jamie said it's been fun as always y'all have a great Are weekend you, you too jamie see you sunday Shana said, might not be as huge this year. Uh, right. You're not going to take up my my uh, whole table? No, you're awesome. All right. I guess we'll have the night. Wait, two more minutes. Oh, gosh. One minute. Uh, Renee said, of course I've seen it. I have a source, but wasn't allowed to take pics. What? Well, gee. Okay, is it still have a skull on it? I need to know. I need, like, descriptors. Because I am picky on my Halloween stuff. Because, like, the Hocus Pocus, I just can't get into that stuff. We need to get those glasses, those spying glasses, so we can walk over and look at it a little bit far up and see the spies come. Uh, uh, Renee, uh, uh, Shada said it's additions. She did see a haunted outhouse. That's adorable. Uh, all right. It's 10 o'clock. Well, that's behind. It's 10. Uh, Renee said, it's plates. No hocus pocus. I don't like that either. No, that's kids. That's a child. I don't, I'm sorry. If you love hocus pocus, good for you. I just find it's very childish to me. I need something... I like more of a goth, no, more of a goth Halloween. I like that just darker bats and skulls and that kind of stuff. Anyhow, well, let's call it a night, y'all. Thank you so much again for joining us. Thanks to all the new people for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And everybody, have a great, safe weekend. Now we got to start figuring out what we're going to make next week. That's right. Bye.